Hey, this your boy Buddy, aka Mr. B. You don't doubt you, and I'm rocking with Shy versus everybody. Shabbos everybody podcast episode goddamn sixteen man got the homie buddy in the building what's good bro what's going on my G shit man we supposed to, we supposed to linked up a while back man I think you had got to a little what car accident or something yeah I got into a little car accident yeah, bouncing we... back from that now though. oh yeah oh yeah for sure for sure man well shit man before we get to everything we gonna start off like I said we do a uh, some positive shit man especially during this Corona time for sure <laughs> <laughs> niggas might be out here you never know man got that Rona real quick <laughs> so uh, we can do uh, the salute me while I'm here uh. Shit, I think for today, I really off the dome, like, I'm going to uh, go with my boy Lance, man. I'm going to go with him because, like, I, I got a mixtape that just came out today. Well, EP, five songs. And this dude shares every goddamn thing that I put on motherfucking Facebook, dog. He, like, one of the few who share whatever you whatever you doing, podcasts, clothing, if it's your music. Like, he going to share it. Even if he don't like it, like he told me, it still might be somebody on his friend list who right. might rock with the shit. Yeah, it's a so line for everybody. Gonna, yeah, so he always going to put it out there. So I'm going to salute my dog Lance, man. And you on some whole shit because you supposed to been put your shit out. <laughs> this nigga hit me up talking about some man. Two niggas didn't drop today. I got to go ahead and put something out. This nigga got about 50 songs. Yeah. And they put nothing out because he's so worried about it sounding a certain way, man. I'm like, dog, just put it out there. Yeah, right. Niggas rock with it, they rock with it. They don't, they don't. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You ain't, you ain't going to find out, when uh, you know what I'm saying, once you put it out there. So shit, man, that's my salute, man. Lance, man. Lance Davis. <laughs> <laughs> so shit, who you got, man? You got somebody you want to shout out? Well shit, mine is more like a a, a collective. It's, mm -hmm. uh, it's a couple of my homeboys from back home. Okay. Um, uh, my nigga Ed, Bass, Josh, my homeboy Dre. Okay. I gotta get them they roses while they still here for sure, cause like same thing. Like I send them my music before I put it out. Yeah. A lot of times niggas be like, why why stop sending me that shit, bro? Like <laughs> just put it out, nigga. We wanna listen to it on Apple Music. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? So like yeah. they keep me going and they keep me on my toes. Oh yeah, for sure. They definitely tell me if I fuck up. Like Man, you be needing that dog. You be needing them people who gonna keep it real and not know yes man. Yeah, you definitely like, need that. If my shit wet though, let me know. Hey man, take that shit off or that shit was straight or like like go back to Lance, he had told me, like, dog, stop rapping about the same shit. So that's why on this project I try to like Put some different shit for ladies, for the struggle, some hype shit. Dude. Yeah. Some different shit. For sure. So, yeah, dog. So, yeah, shot them out, man. Yes, sir. Shit, it's still early, man. I'm going to change it up. But since it's still early in the year, it's March. You know what I'm saying? I usually do a uh, 2000, 2019 breakdown, ups and downs. Like, okay. Give me some ups and downs of the year. If you ain't had no downs and all ups, if you had some all downs and no ups, <laughs> let me know. But shit, mine was like a roller coaster, pretty much. You mm -hmm. feel me? Like, beginning of the year. Everything was great, you know what I'm saying? My, I dropped my first tape like on all platforms in yeah. 2019. Okay. Shit did good. I dropped merch with it. Yeah. That shit did good. Okay. Um, still everything was good, going strong, mm -hmm. all the way up until like I said, the end of the year, mm -hmm. got into a little accident. I ain't gonna call it a little accident. I really was like, fuck, like you know, I'm young, so I'm thinking like I'm gonna bounce back. Like, yeah. So no, nah, this one really whooped my ass. <laughs> like, Damn. It really fucked my back up. So like, I had. I ain't, I was still recording, but yeah. I'm a person like when I put out music, I like to move around. Let, yeah, some energy. Yeah, energy. try to get um, my music to as many people as I can. Yeah. And with me not being able to like be mobile like that, mm. yeah, it shit kind of set me back. Man. That I wanted to, but it, it's working out the way it's supposed to work out. Cause now I'm just gonna flood shit. Like, yeah. So as far as like the acid yeah. though, like was it like some old your bad shit or somebody hit you or? Somebody ran through a stop sign. Yeah, damn. I, took, I had a Grand Prix, took the whole front of that bitch up. Man, yeah. that shit crazy, because I got to Aston like two years ago. I, to this day, I don't know what the fuck the light was green and red, though. Everybody mm. said bitch was red, so it must be red, dog. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, luckily, I'm, I'm a, I'm, I ain't going to say luckily. Well, yeah, luckily, nobody got hurt, whatever, dog. I'm like dropping my son off at daycare, man. I'm listening to the song I just recorded. Right. So my girl pops saying like I was getting too live in the car with my song. <laughs> it was a dope song though. <laughs> so dog, I'm riding down Beach Daily dog over in Southfield and I cross yeah. Nine Mile. Next thing I know, I'm looking like car hit me. So my girl so 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 um happened to be 
turn and going to work because she worked right in the same area. Yeah. So she runs to the car thinking the baby in the car and shit. Fuck me and shit. So she's like, <laughs> wait. And they're like, oh, he good. Oh, okay. You okay? <laughs> so um, the whole time I'm like, yeah, is they, is they fault? Is they fault? I'm thinking I'm cool with then that police officer like, and then he ran a red light like. Oh shit. So I'm thinking like, damn, did I run that bitch? <laughs> and to this day, I can't I can't tell you. Every day I go past that light though, I'll look and see like maybe one side changed before the other door. Like yeah. and I just jumped out that bitch like I could have been hurt, but I was so scared and I had no motherfucking my L's was suspended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh I had spider plates. The only good thing about my shit though was I had got insurance like three days before. So shit. That shit came in clutch. Oh yeah. <laughs> shit, I owe right now though. That shit kinda fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all shit like was it an injury like as far as like you had to go like, to some rehab or you just had to sit down for a little bit? I'm still going through the uh physical therapy process. Yeah, but yeah, at the yeah. beginning though the shit was it, it was bad. Like, it, it was just you and the car, no kids, no. Nah, no it was girl. just me, man. I was just I was heading to where I'm always heading trying to get some bread. I mean that's a good thing though, like you had the kids, I know you got like some little ones, whatever. Yeah, so yeah. luckily it was just you know what I'm saying, just you in the car. Yeah, but like See, when it come to me, I be having, like, I'm big on energy and vibes. Oh, yeah. So, like, I kind of knew. This shit sound bad. I kind of knew eventually I was about to get into an accident. Yeah, yeah. Because one right. day, I'm, I'm with my daughter in the whip. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting on the Southfield Freeway. Yeah. And we spin out. Okay. Like, getting onto the freeway. So, this car is coming behind us, and this car is on the freeway already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luckily, like, you just kind of roll. Hell, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Off to the side, and I was able to stop the car turn back around and yeah, go the right way get this shit back together. yeah before another car came but from there on i'm like damn bro i got a feeling i'm just gonna i'm gonna get into a fucking accident Duh. and then the next fucking week damn. old dude ran straight through a fucking stop sign on some me shit yeah, to he, i don't know what he was listening to <laughs> billy ray cyrus or some yeah. shit he smacked my shit though man man dog that shit fucked up yeah because like man I, it's crazy you say that shit before i was like just envisioning shit because i always envision getting on some weird, super weird shit, dog. Like, I always think, like, death is some shit that you don't see. It just appear. You know right. what I'm saying? So, like, with this accident, I always thought about, like, if you get hit, like, damn, what for? You know, you get hit, but, like, you honestly don't see this shit. Yeah. So, when I got hit, nigga, I'm in that bitch, like, what the fuck? Like, that bitch went slow motion, all these airbags. <laughs> I'm like, shit, airbags coming from spots I even know they had airbag, dog. Like, that shit was fucking crazy as hell, dog. Yeah. And then I went home. That was a, work, a, a rough year, dog. Because, like, when your girl only went with the car. <laughs> <laughs> I was sip on that shit Dog When your girl The one with the car bro She dead Nigga you ain't going nowhere Like that I'm coaching Only thing I'm doing Is going to work And coaching and shit That's it You only going places She can go Dog We going as a family As a unit Everywhere like. You can't go to the barbershop By yourself man. <laughs> Like you get a line up too God damn Dog it's funny You say that shit Nigga we in the barbershop Like nigga You know barbershop Is man talk Dog yeah. That's when you talk about your Everybody shit Everybody in that bitch nervous I'm in that bitch quiet And shit like <laughs> With my girl, my baby, he ain't getting her cut. He only about six months. Like, right. And my son, we in that bitch like, damn, I can't wait till I get cry. I ain't give a fuck if I got the motherfucking cold brown paste off of Hell Martin. Yeah. I could have got the motherfucking pig truck. You got everybody in the barbershop looking at you like you done did some shit wrong. Or they look at you like, this whole ass nigga bring his girl somewhere. Well, he the type of nigga can't go nowhere by himself. Dog, my aunt, dog, my producer right now, he had a big ass party, dog, for his, uh, his birthday and shit. He just put a book out. Yeah. I missed the motherfucking book signing because I'm at work. Okay. So he hit me like, nigga, this shit, he, he got me hyped. Cause he like, nigga, we taking the party over to my, to my sister crib, my auntie. Yeah. So I'm like, bet, nigga, I'm there, nigga. I'm off work at 10, nigga, bet. He's like, yeah, we, we drinking, we eating. I'm like, bet. So I go home and tell my girl, my girl named Alice and shit. Her name is Alexandra, we call her Alice and shit. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know, cute throwing some shit, whatever. Uh, shit, let's go over there. It's his birthday, we eating, drinking. I ain't got to pay for shit. Shit, get a free bus and some food. <laughs> right. She's like, all right, but. I'm going to drop you off and see if somebody can drop you back off. I'm like, nigga, what? <laughs> nigga, I'm like, cuz, so you mean to tell me like, like yeah, cuz uh, I know you're going to be out there all night. And her thing is, we stay in an apartment complex. Yeah. She don't want to lose our parking spot. <laughs> 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 right? The parking spot is right next to our bedroom. Right. So, nigga, she be she want to be at home by 7 o'clock every day so she can have that spot. Damn. So, we arguing about this shit. So, you know how you get so mad, you don't even fucking. You don't even want to go nowhere. Yeah, because you go there, nigga, nigga's going to see you mad. Yeah. Next day, nigga called me, because we had 100 pieces, nigga. We had drinks <laughs> on deck. I'm looking at her like, you motherfucker. <laughs> and then she going back, I apologize. Like, nigga, it, it's June 2nd now. Nah, it was yesterday. That shit nigga. over with. Hell yeah. <laughs> but shit, before we get into like your um your music shit, man. For sure. Give me your um your come up, man. Like, I know you say you you you, you from Detroit, but you grew up in Atlanta. So, like, how yeah. was it growing up and what made y'all move to Atlanta from Detroit? Well, shit. My parents got a divorce. Mm -hmm. So, I was only eight. Okay. So, I, I ain't had no choice. I couldn't pick that shit. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it, it all worked out for the best. You know what I'm saying? I got to see a whole new... 
Yeah. Walk of life. Yeah. Shit, some Southern hospitality, all kind yeah, of sure. shit. Yeah, South is niggas. Niggas super cool in the South. I stay in Texas for like three years. It's yeah, like, it's like a different type of love. You ain't gotta worry about niggas mean mug you niggas. Man, if a nigga mean mugging you, y'all done had problems yeah. already. You know what I'm saying? Like, but usually it's what up, bro? You all right? Yeah. And but up here, that mean a whole different thing. You feel <laughs> like, me? Like, yeah, nigga, I'm cool, nigga. What up? Fuck <laughs> you, mean? I'm all, I'm all right, nigga. Yeah, like, for sure. But yeah, like that basically was my story. And like, as far as the music tip. I always been in the music like mm-hmm. I'm I was that nigga that like will be listening to music but be putting my own bars in there. Yeah, hell yeah. Like so from shit, I probably ten ten to twelve. Yeah. I was already writing raps, but I was like on some real shy shit. Yeah. And I wasn't really around nobody that was making music. You know, back in them days, like you be in school tell a nigga you rap. Hell yeah. You get your ass laughed out the hell classroom yeah. and nigga oh, yeah. flame the shit out your ass, like, Oh, you really from eight mile, huh? <laughs> Like that type of shit. So first thing niggas say, especially they know you from Detroit. Or yeah, shit. yeah. So yeah, niggas always put eight eight mile with Detroit and shit. Yeah, so I, I ain't even tell nobody I made music, and then uh, my mom got into like the church world, okay. and um, she became a preacher. Yeah. So I had mentors that was preachers and stuff, and like I don't know what they seen in me, but they always was trying to get me to do stuff like yeah. be in plays or uh, make church raps or whatever, yeah. just so I could be in front of people and yeah. inspire but, everybody else. Back then, like, was that something you was opposed to? Like, as a little man, kid, you don't know. I was crying like a motherfucker. No, but you don't be knowing until you get older. Like, that's some, that, that was some good shit. Because, yeah. like, a lot of times, as kids, we, you know, we be on to the little bull crap, and our parents know what's best. Like, dog, right. you need to get into this, or if it ain't sports, it's something that going to fill your mind, your time up, you know right. what I'm saying? Because, like, we ain't got no after-school programs. I remember being young and dog having after-school programs. Like, right. They ain't got that no more. Hell no. You feel me? So you said at the time you was you was hurt by that junk. Yeah, like, man, my mom used to be at church so much. <laughs> like, I'd be in the pew crying. She at meetings, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And everybody looking at me like, why this nigga crying? Like, I'm ready to go home, nigga. Everybody else playing basketball, football, and shit. It's Sunday, football games oh, yeah. on. Oh, yeah, you missing all that missing shit. all that shit, so... My mom used to be whooping my ass like, Man, you gotta do this shit. Like <laughs> now, that's one thing I, I'm gonna go. I, I will say like, uh, as far as like the church every day, man, like that can be. You, I see why you was crying. Yeah, I mean it wasn't an everyday thing. It just became a Sunday, Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, Bible study on Wednesday. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Every week, like. Yeah, cause my little uh, my little nephew, man, he can be on my <clears> basketball <throat> team because he go Bible study on Wednesdays. Right. And we practice on Wednesdays and Fridays. So my dog, come on, just. Let him go to the church on Sunday, bro. Right. Like, he he can hoop. Let him hoop with us on Wednesday. Yeah. No, man. I'm like, all right, I can't I can't help you then, bro. Like, <laughs> can't help you. Yeah, so like yeah. I'm so this this still in Atlanta, right? Yeah, this is still in Atlanta, yep. So you, you doing music in Atlanta, like, um, like and want to be a rapper, like what was the your first sound? Like this something you want to do? Well, like I said, they they would make me rap at yeah. church. Like okay. they they put me in a rap group. Okay. Uh, the pastor's son had a rap group, which yeah. we me and him was cool as hell. Yeah. And like outside of the church, he wasn't like no church dude. Yeah, you feel exactly. me? Like yeah. he was a real he was a real one. Yeah. <laughs> so I we would be doing all kind of shit. I'm probably like twelve, thirteen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We doing what regular niggas do, and then come to church and be rapping. Yeah. So like we would be making up regular songs. Okay. Outside of there. Yeah. Or just hanging around with a bunch of niggas that be rapping, mm-hmm. and like. I just knew always this is what I wanted to do, and I had to tell the dudes in the group, like, I'll do this with y'all because I'll fuck with y'all. Yeah, but real. I really want to make music mm-hmm. on some other shit, you know what I'm saying? And at the time, I was so young, niggas don't go believe this shit I'm talking about, yeah. even though this is what I'm seeing. Yeah, for sure. And everybody at church wouldn't even understood it. Yeah. My, like, my mom didn't know none of this was going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so she like, pissed off. <laughs> she, wouldn't, she wouldn't have believed it. Like, oh, he just saying some shit, you yeah, know what I'm saying? But yeah. really, this was what I was seeing. This is what uh, I was doing. Okay. So I knew I wanted to make some music. I just always stayed away from it until I got into like college, literally. Yeah. So shoot, in, in high school, you say y'all, y'all in the group, so y'all rapping about you know the Lord. And I wasn't like, even. They was in high school. Oh, so you was in. What? I was in like middle school. Okay, okay. So you had to, you was you, you nice with words early then. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like, who was somebody you you looked at like as far as I know? You say they made you join the, the group. Like, you ever look at somebody at, at like the age of 11, 12, 13 Like, damn, they dope. Like, man, I was bumping. This shit gonna be funny. Like, I I was bumping shit like. Nelly. Yeah, hold on, dog. That first Nelly album was, was classic. Classic, bro. Niggas dog, laugh classic. at me every time, bro. <laughs> he laugh right now. That you was feel classic, me? I was dog. listening to Nelly, but then, girl, man, I was bro. listening to Nelly, but I always listen to Jay Z. Yeah. Like no matter what, like I'm talking, about, I got my ass whooped for yeah. bumping Ninety Nine Problems and knowing man. all the words in the shower. <laughs> dog, that was a classic album too, dog. Yeah. So what's like, your favorite whole album, real quick, though? The Black Album is my favorite. Mine's Blueprint, dog. Uh, where? I like Black. I like Black Album, but Blueprint was like I don't know. That's when I first. I mean, dog. Like, I know you say you a whole fan. Like, yeah. I, it's like LeBron. I know he's the greatest, but he's not my favorite. 
Right. I know Jay Z one of the greats, but he wasn't my favorite. I got certain albums I like about him. Yeah. He, he cold. You can't deny that. Right. He just wasn't my go to. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Nas was my go to. Like. Yeah, and, and that was another thing. Like my sister had a 16th birthday party. Yeah. And I don't know how this shit happened. I don't know who talked to who, mm. but Nas was in that motherfucker. <laughs> I'm talking about this yeah. is some off the wall. <laughs> like my sister is not no at this time. This yeah. is probably like crown mob, oh, yeah, little yeah, scrappy yeah, area. Yeah. Like, like if you buck. nobody <laughs> was even listening to Nas in this motherfucker. He yeah. performing. It's just me and him. Like yeah. everybody else just skating around my ass. Yeah. He, I know I can be yeah. what I want to be. That's, like yeah, that's when he got back high. Yeah, yeah. so I'm standing baby. there like then he did made him look. I'm like, yo, this nigga is going stupid in here. <laughs> hey, Everybody else just <laughs> knocking me down and shit because I'm standing still. Dude, that's funny as hell. But dog. yeah, I, I always remember that moment. And like, uh, shout out to Nas for that because he, he definitely took pics and shit. So is you you was around Atlanta around that time when like, you, like you said, Crime Mob, uh, Franchise Boys. Yeah. I like, used to listen to all that, my white team. Man, the shit was so crazy. The neighborhood we stayed in, Shouty Low, baby mama stayed in the neighborhood. Yeah. And her sister was my sister best friend. Okay. So like, I'll be hanging out with Shorty Low, but again, I'm only in middle school. Yeah, so you ain't really. Yeah. So like he telling me, nigga, you ain't ready for none of this. Like yeah. just chill. So yeah. he, but we'll be shooting basketball. I was good as fucking basketball, but I was always the little one. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. like he'll be like, I give you a hundred dollars, you make this shot, like yeah. that type of shit. And yeah. then like you have Fabo all through the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he really act like them songs when he yelling and yeah. dancing and shit. So, so like you, you was you living in the hood then yeah, down there. I mean, it wasn't really, it wasn't supposed to be the hood. But, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like you know how. Um, you might move into a nice neighborhood, yeah, and then everybody else move into that neighborhood. That's how it was when I live in Harper Woods. Yeah, like <laughs> no and, white people didn't necessarily you know. Like, damn, niggas is insane. Like, man, what? And then you got to think about, like I said, I'm in Atlanta, and Hurricane Katrina hit, mm -hmm. and they all moved to our neighborhood. Yeah. So not only damn, you yeah. got all the badass kids just regularly in that motherfucker, yeah. you got you got the New Orleans badass kids, yeah. and this was a whole nother level. Yeah. But like. This shit, this shit made my childhood what it was. Man, so when you say that they were saying like you wasn't ready for this, like you was, you was, uh, you was headed towards like a, a wrong direction, or whatever, like, cause you know a lot of times like <clears throat> when you that hooper in the on the block or somebody see something like dog, nah, this ain't for you. Like I know with me, like over here, this the red zone. Like I'll be outside, some shit happen. My uncle, his homeboy, like y'all, yeah. go ahead and dip out. Like, like I was just one of them kids that like really I wasn't into the gang shit. Yeah, but like. It was definitely gangs around. Okay. And, like, because I stand up to them niggas, they had respect for me. Because I'm little as hell. These niggas, yeah, yeah, yeah. high you. school, all <laughs> kind of shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling them niggas, I don't give a fuck how old y'all niggas <laughs> is. Don't touch me. And mm -hmm. if I said I got next, nigga, I got next. Dog. <laughs> You gotta, I, you gotta hold your necks down. Yeah. Cause a nigga run your necks, nigga, you ain't never gonna get on the court, mm -mm. nigga. <laughs> I wasn't with that shit. Big older kids would come through trying to run my necks. I grabbed the basketball, stopped the whole game, <laughs> nigga. I said I had necks, bro. Hell yeah, dog. I remember, dog. Basketball city, nigga, try to run my necks, dog. My cousin ain't going down like that. Yeah. Like, we getting two. I finally get on the court, dog. I score on them real quick, and I throw the ball in his chest, like. My boy, like, dog, you tripping. Like, no, nah, nigga, like, you got to get my respect. Like, you, I'm little, dog. Like, yeah. Just like you, dog. Like, as far as hooping, like, you got to you gotta man up. Like, you got to earn Hell that respect. Because yeah. niggas not going to give you that respect. At dog. all. Man. So, just being in Atlanta, dog, like, that, that shit crazy. Like, as far as, like, your upbringing, as far as the music, you was around, like, the time when Atlanta was on the, with the South period was on the come on up. On the come up, yeah. Yeah. So, like, you had, what, that was, with two chains with Titty Boy with Player Circle. Yeah. Oh, that was a little bit. Uh, I, I was even, I was down there before that, so, like. When T.I. first came when out? When T.I. first came out with, on that Bone Crusher song. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Like, yeah, when yeah. Lil Jon and the East Side Boys just yeah. started popping with before they even got with the Yin Yang Twins. Man, Lil Jon was cracking, boy. Like, I was down there when everybody had on Dicky suits and yeah. felines, <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, for real. Like, that's like, around time, I remember I was liking this one nigga. We was talking about, like, our top five rappers who was, you grew up to, back then, he was kind of whack. Uh-huh. Uh, I know you probably remember uh, Baby Boy the Prince. Yeah. Yeah, this is the way we live. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I was listening to Baby Boy the Prince. I was on um 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 what's that nigga name? Game over the nigga who had flip. Yeah, a little flip. Yeah. And then until T I killed that killed nigga. Yeah, destroyed him. I was on T I heavy, like I was on a South Heavy, dog. Like I was just listening to uh AT Aliens, dog. Like Oh yeah. That's like one of my like dog, when I be looking at albums, I be forgetting the name as like one of my favorite albums, dog. Like yeah. Andre three thousand, like one of my favorite rappers, dog. Yeah, that's like, the most slept on shit. I just wish he would have came out with a solo album with just him strictly rap. Which I think should still come. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But we know and how he is. And then you know is. you got you know say Big Boy with the pimp shit like yeah. they they motherfucker balance each other out so 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 good. Yeah, but I can't even like I probably could listen to an Andre three thousand album, but I, I ain't gonna lie, I can't really get down with the Big Boy by itself. Yeah, yeah. Now the yeah. last joint he had was Sleepy Brown. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> he love my fucking big boy dog. I just, I just can't, like it, you need that balance. Like yeah. I said, the last joint he had was Sleepy Brown on yeah. it. That was hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah, but as a collection, them boys, I, I hope, I hope, dog, they come out with another album together yeah. dog, before it's all said and done, dog. So like when you was in Atlanta, did you like, <clears throat> you know, as a when you grown, when you go to a different state or a city, you always rep Detroit. Right. Like was you down there like telling niggas like I'm from Detroit, or you was just like. You just got so accustomed to being to Atlanta, like you at feel first, like that was home. Yeah, at first that's what it was. Like mm -hmm. I'm from Detroit, mm -hmm. but then the more and more I'm just down here, yeah, the shit became like nigga, you you from where you at? Yeah, like, for sure. I was more so repping my neighborhood, my apartment complex yeah. than anything, which is what I still do. Yeah, because again, that's where you, that's where I learned everything. So that's where you got that song like the, with Taylor. Uh, Taylor Road, yeah, that's, that's the Atlanta. Yep. Okay, okay, hell yeah. See, I go back and listen to some shit. I bro. appreciate that <laughs> shit, man. For sure, for sure. So um, you down there, you in the church. Like, was there a time you had to tell your mom, like, or your your the people using the group with, like, you not really into the church, like, as far as like the whole music making, or? I mean, I could tell them that, but yeah, nigga, my mom was not having it. Like, you, gonna, you stay <laughs> in my house, you gonna go to church, yeah. And if you ain't gonna do the music shit, you gotta do something, yeah. So yeah. it went from me not wanting to do the music yeah. to me being in plays. Mm. To me working the video stuff yeah. for church. Okay. To you me doing everything in church. Yeah, bro. like I even played the bongos, bro. Like, <laughs> you was about fucking LeBron, that boy. You all around. <laughs> I had to, cause I was there. They was like, you gonna you gonna do something while you in here? It was the most embarrassing. Uh, you had like an embarrassing play, like you was in like. Oh boy. You had to wear some motherfucking tights and shit for real. Like, worse than that, <laughs> I had to be in the Easter play, right? Yeah. And like I said, my man's that uh, his dad was the pastor. Yeah. He played Jesus in the Easter play. <laughs> yeah. And so like they went so in detail that like. They had a scene where he coming and he dragging the cross. Okay. And like everybody's supposed to be whooping him and whatever. Yeah. But of course, you know, it was two other people on the crosses. Yeah. I was on the other cross. Yeah. But they went so in detail. It wasn't like no modern day yeah. play. So we in the, the diapers joints. <laughs> like, I'm really up there in the toga. You feel me? Mad as hell. Mad as hell. I'm young and shit. You know, you young, bro. You ain't really trying to be like naked in front of people yeah. damn near. Yeah, like, yeah. thighs out and shit. Like, <laughs> this shit was whack. <laughs> <laughs> hell no, that's funny as hell, dog. I, I I can't take it back, and I appreciate that shit now. I mean, dog, you dog, cause that be stuff like dog. You understand, like without this fucking phone, like you got those memories, dog. I'm glad we didn't have phones back then. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, been on the ground. Buddy in this these skinny ass niggas <laughs> on the crust, dog. But yeah, you be needing that shit, dog. Like you look back at that shit, like man, your mom was only trying to look out. You right. Know what I'm saying, even though you probably look at it like that, but yeah, your parents be looking because I you got kids, I got kids, dog. Like. At the end of the day, you ain't want their best interests, and you want to try to keep them as far out the streets as you can. Right. Because, like, my son, like, dog, if it ain't school, hooping, like, it got to be something, dog. Just don't be out there just, you know saying, tripping or whatever, dog. Right. And which, like I said, it, it paid off in the long run, because now, like you said, now I got kids. Yeah. And even with me being grown now, yeah. I be looking for, like, like not no big homie type thing, but more like mentors. Like, yeah. So when I was in church, mm -hmm. it was people that was around me that was able to be mentors. Yeah. Like like now I be having a hard time chopping it up with people that's older. Yeah. Because some of the niggas that's older, you only talking to me about certain shit. Like, where the hoes at? <laughs> like, bro, I ain't trying to be funny. I know how I look. I yeah. could find the hoes yeah. if I, you know what I'm saying? Like, or where are we at? Like, nigga, I, it's on every corner, bro. Yeah, they got dispensaries and everything. Dog, like, dog, so I don't like, really want to talk about shit like that. But for me being um, in Atlanta and not really being around that many uh, yeah. older males that was like teaching. Yeah. Well, they was teaching me shit, but because I was at that age, we wasn't able to but have yeah, them. Yeah, no, like now that I'm old enough to have them talks, like them the talks I be trying to have. Like, I'm 27, bro. Like, you realize that, like, it's niggas my age that don't know nothing about credit, don't know nothing about buying no, houses. Nothing. Like, you just, and you don't learn shit until you get older. Like, yeah. you take your credit fucked up. Fucked up already. Student nigga. loans keep calling, nigga. Nigga, like, my shit fucked up, dog. You gotta go ahead and block them calls. Like, for damn. Real. If I hear Danielle from Student Search one more time, nigga, man. I might lose my shit. Man, my girl credit all good. I'm that bitch jealous and shit. Like, fuck, <laughs> cuz. Our apartment and her name and shit, cause my shit so bad. Yeah, nigga. and that, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not enough. Older dudes spreading that information, or they don't know. Hell yeah, that's true. Hell yeah, cause like dog, like you got them homies too that don't be like they still be stuck in y'all past, like right. how you used to be. Like sometimes you gotta, you know, what I'm saying disconnect with friends, even though you love them, but like you be like dog, I'm trying to grow. Like hell yeah, I got some shit. Like, or, I got a or I gotta go. Son, nigga, I gotta like, go get the information and bring it back. Yeah, cause we sure. ain't got it. You know hell what I'm yeah. saying? Like, and that's yeah, that's that's for real though. Like you, that's that's true as hell. Like dog, we all need mentors. Like even as fathers, you still need somebody who been through the shit who can tell you some right. shit. And then so you can pass that shit down to your kids, your people, your yeah. you know, say whoever dog. Hell yeah, cause that's like that's like my pops, which that nigga's the goat to me. You feel me? Yeah. Like so like 
I'll still be bringing him back information because, like, my dad, he had a rap group back in the day. They was, like, local local rapping. Okay. Which they could have really been way bigger than what they was. In Detroit? Yeah, in Detroit. Okay. I mean, they could have been way bigger than what they was, but it was just the simple fact of not knowing. You yeah. get what I'm saying? So, like, when I'm yeah. chopping it up with him talking about logos and LLC and stuff, and, like, he like, damn, I ain't never even thought about that shit. Man, for real, dog. You don't know. Like, dog, that's, like, it's always messed up, but you always got to be like that motherfucking, uh, me for lack of a better word, that guinea pig or whatever, mm-hmm. basically, like, to get tested on so you can go ahead and pass that shit down. You know what I'm saying? Even with this podcast, like, my aunt dog did this shit a long time ago, so I'm just feeding off of what he doing and then trying to do my shit right now. Sure. Like, and then with me with Hoop, and, like, I never say I was, like, no LeBron type nigga, but I know so much now, and me coaching like that, I can pass this shit to my son. For sure. Pass it to my little baby boy, like, yeah. so they can be better than what I was, because I didn't know about working out, training, yeah. like, I just knew about going on going the court. Going straight to the court, yeah, yeah. yeah, give me the ball. I'm not stretching, we playing 21 <laughs> with a thousand niggas getting hurt. Right. <laughs> and about that stretching shit for them old niggas. No, now, like, at, at you get, like, 25, you start feeling that shit. Like, Man, I got, what? Let me stress a little bit. That's, that, I never <laughs> understood, like, all right, we all had uh, the equipment, yeah. like, you had a sleeve on, and all that shit, we never knew what that shit was really for yeah. till you get of age, nigga. You putting on them knee braces and shit. And you, <laughs> you got old football injuries. No, and but shit. it's funny you say that shit. Cause I remember uh, niggas be trying to wear them Allen Iverson sleeves. Yeah. I used to get my mom a little pantyhose and shit. Man, what? Used to cut the, <laughs> cut the end of the sock off and shit. Yeah. yeah. Maybe out there looking stupid. So you said you was into the hoop game, dog. Like in high school, like was you uh hooping on the hoop squad? Or you just was in. Man, there? I was the nigga that did not make the team because I was bad as hell. Yeah. And I ain't even gonna say bad, like. Fighting or nothing I just was like The nigga in the classroom That's roasting everybody Yeah duh. So like I wasn't doing no work I, well, I'd do my work And roast everybody And get put out <laughs> The teacher included Like Hell no dog. You gonna know how Yeah man Like duh. I I just was I was always on some Dave Chappelle shit She man. just kept me from doing right Yeah But then like When I got a little bit older Like high school mm-hmm. I would be skipping class And go to the gym yeah. And I definitely would go when the basketball team was in there yeah. and bust they ass. Oh, yeah. So you had hoop game. You, you, yeah, you, you, you still be balling? I, I ball when I can get a chance now, yeah. but I, I I used to be way too yeah. competitive. But, dog, that's how it is. Like, dog, I used to be called me speedy. Like, dog, I used to be out there, bitch. Like, nigga, I ain't in, like, I had to break it down. Just my speed, my first step gonna be right past. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then with the basketball squad, we was hoop, we was trying out for a team. I ain't gonna name, my, name the name, but I was giving the. Point guard work. Yeah. Cause my whole thing, I got to tell my son, dog, you always go for the best person, and then work his Everybody, ass out. Everybody, yeah. So I knew you was the point guard. Name start with a T for Southeast. <laughs> <laughs> and I was working this nigga, dog. Like I'm talking about, I was going to the hole whenever I want to. I'm throwing oops to my nigga, dog. Like, but then he was like, right, everybody made the first cut. We made the first cut. Second cut, grades. All right, man, I'm about to get a job. <laughs> Cause dog, my grade, I was on some bullshit, dog. Cause I went to a um all white school for eighth, ninth, tenth grade. Yeah. So when I went back to the hood, going to the Detroit Public School. I'm like, I ain't seen as many black girls in a long time. Oh, so you got distracted. Yeah. So I'm that bitch trying to make sure my outfit straight. Oh, that's all you worried about. My braids crispy, dog. <laughs> like I had braids at the time. Yeah. Damn. Rest in peace to my hair. They got way to shit. Fuck you, cuz. <laughs> I look at that shit like I mean if it's ball for real But yeah You and that bitch <laughs> You and that bitch The Al Addison brains and shit dog yeah. Like dog So yeah I was so worried about how I look For the hoes yeah. You know what I'm saying That I'm not even focusing on no grades Right So I made the basketball team thinking like Alright bet I made the team They put me on a little probation I played in January No, nah, dog You done You done You checking grades So alright up Got that job at Ogre's real quick watching Hey, dishes, my grandma bro. used to work at Ogre's. Shout dog. out to Ogre's. Hey, that bread be sweet as hell, That bro. shit good as hell. <laughs> Nigga be sleeping at Ogre's, dog. That shit good. It's expensive, but it's good. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. But yeah, like, for me, though, it wasn't... I, I could definitely do the work. Yeah. But it was the matter of me even going to school, bro. Yeah, so you was just like... From middle school, I was skipping. Damn. Like, nigga, my mom whooped my ass because, like... <laughs> first of all, we got that letter in the mail. Like, yeah. if this nigga don't show up to school... You going to jail. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, my mama whooped my ass for that. <laughs> like, I ain't going to jail, motherfucker. Then I still was skipping. My yeah. mama had to take my house key, nigga. I was skipping so much. Duh. Then I had Damn. the neighborhood in the crib. So, like, we eating all the food before anybody get to the crib. My <laughs> mama was beating my ass. So, bro. you say with your mama and your pops getting divorced, like, you think you was acting like that because, like, your dad back in Detroit? I mean, not, not that I done got older. Yeah, that, that played a big part Damn. in it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Um, yeah, it yeah. definitely played a big yeah, part yeah, in my it. My pops, dog, my pops passed away at, uh, at 13. So like with me, like I remember, um, I guess my mom said I was acting, I was acting stupid and shit, dog. Like I overheard a conversation with her and my grandma. So yeah, I might have to 
Send this motherfucker to boot camp. I'm like, oh, let me straighten up real quick. Cause man. Like, I ain't tough like that. Like, man, because my, my mom definitely that had that talk. And this before the shit had like TV shows and shit. Like, my, <laughs> yeah. my mom was with the scared straight shit. Like, oh, for real. But I knew my mama loved me enough to where she was not about to let me leave and yeah, go she was somewhere else. Just send wolf tickets real quick. Yeah, so I, I, I knew that. But at the same time, like, like I said, now this was a big part of all that. Uh, Black album was one of my favorite. Yeah, it's like that line when Jay said. Uh, now the teachers couldn't teach me and my mama couldn't beat me mm -hmm. for all them times that my pops couldn't see me. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit was a real moment for me because me and my dad, we still close to this day. Mm -hmm. Like, that's where the name Buddy even came from. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Pops. Yeah, like, because when I was younger, anywhere my dad go, yeah. I'm in the passenger seat. So, like, everybody's saying that, like, that's a little yeah, buddy, that, right? yeah, that's my buddy right there. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yeah, that's how I me mean, my my, uh, my son is. Like, my, of course, like, you got love for both your kids, but it was like it's a little different with my oldest son. With your boy, yeah. Because my oldest son is 13, my baby boy is three. Okay. So then it's like, of course, that was some high school love type of shit, whatever. So with him, I was always overprotective because his mom side family was thin. And then my shit, my mom, my pops, everybody was passing away. So it was like, for a certain, it was like me and him against the world. Right. Until I met my chick now, whatever. Yeah. So I'm a little bit more overprotective over him. So he always, like I said, he everywhere I'm at. Like, right. Everybody, all my homies, everybody know who the fuck he is. Because, right. shit, the only place I couldn't take him was the club. Like, right. <laughs> like, shit, like, let me find a way. He in that, dog, bitch, doing like, the hustle. Dog, for real. Because I used to hit the club like, hey, mom, can you watch a little shot real quick? Like, <laughs> I, I make sure he sleep. Right. Ride around the block about five times, nigga. Say like, he knocked out. <laughs> Take him to the crib, get it in, dog. For real, for real. So, uh, you said you was you saw a little high head. Like, when did you start like realizing like, dog, I need to calm down a little bit before I this shit might you know what I'm saying go out of hand or shit. Uh, yesterday, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> something like that, No, But like, like I said at first, it wasn't really like a hot head to where it was really getting me into shit. Mm -hmm. It was more so like, oh that nigga funny. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying, or he gonna fight like. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Regardless of win, lose, or draw, that ain't gonna yeah. fight. Just don't bother him. No, it's funny because you can look at niggas. Like, I can look at you until, like, probably back in the day, you was like the type of nigga who wanna scrap all the time. Bro, I didn't, though. <laughs> like, I would, I'm that nigga that just was gonna defend myself. So oh, you might sure. come outside with five jokes. Like, nigga, you short, you look like Ja Ru, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> But nigga, I was gonna follow you home all day. <laughs> roast your ass till I felt like you was about to cry. <laughs> that nigga said Ja Rule. Bro, I, I, real shit. Like, that was duh. the thing for real. Damn, that's funny as hell, dog. So, uh, did you go to, like, did you ever think about, I know you said you were skipping a lot. Did you ever think about college or whatever, or did you ever go? I ain't think about college until my senior year, bro. Man. GPA same ass. Same here, dog. I had to beg my motherfucking counselor to let me pass. I had to talk to this one lady. Out of all classes, I'm skipping African American history. <laughs> 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 like, why the fuck am I skipping African American history? Not knowing I need this shit. I'm, we begging her, dog. My last day of school, I had to do like fucking twin assignments and in her final. Right. Just to pass that bitch, dog. Thank you, Miss Perkins. She Word. got me through that Shout out, Miss Perkins. Hell but see, yeah. like in Georgia, like um, to graduate, they got an extra test. So it ain't just based off if you pass the classes. Yeah. You got to take a standardized test to do that. Damn. So with me skipping so fucking much, <laughs> but I still got high grades on the standardized test, my mm -hmm. teacher's like, Cause you take the test in 11th grade So that yeah. senior year You really just waiting To walk across the stage Yeah So me passing all my tests Shit they like bro So you been bullshitting The whole, whole year time So then <laughs> that's, that's when I had Like a real teacher Like really sit me down His nigga name was Mr. Gil Gilchrist yeah. He taught economics Yeah Like now I Like I said With me skipping school and shit okay. There's only a few classes That I would go to And I really fucked with Yeah So like economics um, I had a business class With a nigga named Coach Tucker Okay Them classes Was the only class I really go to Yeah Now I not even really knowing that I was liking the class. It was just with some girls in there. <laughs> so I'm going to the classes, though, and I'm learning shit. Yeah. And them teachers that really set me down, like, bro, you really smart. Yeah, stop but, bullshit. Yeah, stop, stop fucking around. Like, yeah. did you even, have you even went and looked at a college campus? Mm -hmm. So, shit, after he said that, I went to the crib. Like, now my mom, my mom worked at a college campus. She worked at Emory University. Mm -hmm. So I went home, talked to my mom. I was like, all right, I think, I think, uh, I want to start looking at school. Yeah. So, shit, that whole summer, she put me in programs where I'm staying on campus. Okay, yeah. After I seen that shit, I'm like, oh, yeah, I got to go to school. Man, so what, what, what college you wound up going to? I ended up going to a community college called Middle Georgia College, but this is, like, one of the only um, schools that you stayed on campus for a, a community college. Yeah, because most community colleges, you come from the crib. Like, yeah. You no, know nah, this shit was two hours away in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. So, again, though, it was one of them situations where you go from school Church, school, church, 
to nobody gonna tell you shit. Yeah, so yeah. now it's just me and a whole bunch of girls, <laughs> my homeboys, and I found out about Wiz Khalifa. Duh. Yeah, so you was that bitch, go ahead. Chief. Smoking for real. Chief. <laughs> I thought I was Wiz. Dog, that's what's funny. Cause my brother does cushion orange juice. Anybody dog. that graduated in 2010 is gonna lie if they say they wasn't smoking, bro. Man. And it was all because of Wiz Khalifa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause my brother was on that cushion orange juice heavy, bro. And I think that's the reason why he started smoking because of Wiz and shit. Yeah. Dog. Like Wiz is underrated though. Like, Niggas man. sleep on Wiz, but I ain't gonna lie. That's one. Of, that's one of my biggest influences on man. how he got in the game. Yeah. I'm, that, I'm trying to fuck with Rosslyn Records right now. I need that, one of them type of movements. Man, that cause the orange juice is a fucking classic, bro. Yes. That, that motherfucker black and yellow, nigga. Like, that whole, my brother put me on. It's two people my brother put me on with Wiz and fucking Drake. Okay. Because he was like, the nigga from the grass. He was like, nigga, my girl watched the grass. He was like, you talking about the nigga wheelchair? The nigga like, in the wheelchair? And then he was like, <laughs> the first song he let me listen to was the uh, the shit with him and Trey Songs. Okay, yeah. That's when I guess he was supposed to sound with Trey and shit. Yeah. I'm like, all right, he all right. I then think I, that shit was called Exclusive Girl or some shit yeah, like something that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Then when he was with, with uh, Wayne and shit. And he then started going on. that first miss, I like, hold on, this nigga, this nigga kind of cold. Like, and same thing with Wiz. Like, nigga, that nigga was cold. Like, he just, I think, I still think he slept on. Yeah, he definitely slept on. I just need him to like really get out here in this mainstream and just show people like, because yeah. a, a lot of a lot of our um, influences is catered to like people saying they all came from Lil Wayne, yeah. which a lot of them did. Okay. But I know from my generation, the people that graduated two thousand ten and on, we just played a big role in yeah, our yeah. shit. That nigga had the motherfucking anthem for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Even and shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know you had you know he had influence when niggas started putting the patch in their shit. Yeah, yeah. That blonde oh, yeah, patch. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's when the whole blonde shit started trending. I couldn't shit. do it though, like. Yeah, like, was, it just wasn't me. Yeah, I was gonna let uh, my my brother's son do that shit. Like, yeah, but I definitely but had the chucks. I definitely, <laughs> I definitely had the chucks on. I definitely was chiefing like a mother. Hell yeah, dog. So you say uh, so the school like shit? Cause I, I can only imagine. I went to a little JUCO here. Yeah. So I can only imagine like being in the South, like just going to college period. You seeing like little females and shit. Like, Man, that shit fucked you up. It fucked me up cause like I had a girlfriend at the school. Yeah. So like the whole time I'm with her. But there's so many girls around, you know what I'm saying? Right. And on some 100 shit, like, I had I had a house full of sisters yeah. who friends would live with us and shit. So I never really was, like, taking none of that girl shit to heart. Like, yeah. somebody tell me I'm cute. Okay, so. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, man, when I got to school and, like, girls was really on me, mm-hmm. like, that shit became difficult as hell. So, yeah. like, the, the relationship shit, be, besides chasing girls or smoking, the relationship became... More stressful than anything, cause Man. now it's like you, you trying to duck her, cause you done met up with this other shorty, or she didn't bang, Duh. she banging on your dorm room door, you in here with somebody else, like Duh. the shit was just too much. It ain't shit like feeling yourself, but when you start to know it's like motherfuckers feeling you, like, hold yeah. on, cause like, I'm, I'm the truth for real, nigga like, popping. <laughs> like I get these bitches if I want to, like, and like, like I said, we went to school two hours away in the middle of the country, so like, we them niggas from Atlanta, yeah, so like, we got the newest J's, we got the freshest gear, these yeah. niggas still got on overalls. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker leave my overalls That bitch called Man, Cross what? colors and shit dog. And I don't understand Nothing they was saying Man dog So like Did you uh Did you finish your uh Your, your time there you like No I got kicked out That motherfucker For underage drinking <laughs> And I, I Bro everybody's Like laugh at that shit Cause it's like We all know what go on On college Hell campuses. yeah You fucking You drinking You might get some school in You feel me The school <laughs> You might learn something Yeah for real Like no bro We got kicked out For underage drinking And I got arrested In front of the whole school Dawson, was you in class or you was just like? No, I'm in a dorm room. Yeah. Uh, with some with some chicks. They was, I mean, we were always cool. A couple yeah. of my homeboys in there, and like this this one building that you know you're not supposed to be drinking in because the <laughs> RA is a straight dickhead. You feel me? Like he the older white dude that's locally from around here, yeah. and he literally live here. He don't. Bro, he don't go to class. Like, you know, usually, like, the RAs is the yeah. one. They students, too. Yeah, nigga. This no, chilling. this is the only thing that he do. Yeah. Him and his wife. <laughs> And they ain't called the, the campus police. And they come in there and start breathalyzing everybody. Damn. Now, I done had a few beers before I got here. Yeah. But mind you, I ain't thinking nothing about it. Like, this is what we do. It's time to party. And it's like, at our school, the main event, like, because our basketball team was cool, but they wasn't really doing shit. Yeah. And it's, it's like I said, it's a community college. Yeah, so yeah, ain't, ain't no Nobody give ass, a damn. Yeah. Hell yeah. So the main thing at our school was the fashion show. Yeah. Like, we would have a big-ass fashion show. And I, I used to be in it a lot. Okay. So, like. 
Um, like I said, we turning up before we about to go to the club. Yeah. And <laughs> shit, that turn up turned into some turnout type shit. <laughs> Still motherfuckers came, breathalyzed everybody, and shit, me and my one homeboy, but see, he was 21. Yeah. I was always the youngest one. Yeah, yeah. That's what, that's what I'm saying. You always young as everything you Man, do. Man, that's what, because I always surrounded myself with older people. But, dog, that shit funny, because that's the same way I am, dog. Like, I hang with my uncle and them, my brother and them. Like, it's like two people I hang around that's my age. My dog Weezy, my dog Rez. Like, everybody else was older, dude. Right, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, dog. That's and then like I say, you start feeling yourself. My mess around, I'll be like you get handcuffed. Man, I'm talking about they put a nigga in the car, but like, damn, bro, <laughs> like, yeah, y'all gonna do my mask like that, like, bro? But so what? So you say you you drink at a young age, dog? What was the bullshit you were drinking back then? Man, you know them cheap shits that come in the plastic bottle, like. <laughs> We in college, so ain't nobody really got no bread. Hell I don't no. even remember the name of it. This shit used to have, like, dragons on it. <laughs> <laughs> it. It's that. And then, like, we went through the phase of drinking Four Locos. Dog, fucking Four Locos. I just told a story about that shit, like, two podcasts ago, dog. Like, yeah. I drank don't, Four Don't Locos. do it. Nigga, I drank a whole one and a half. And I was drinking this liquor called 360. <sighs> I'm in the motherfucking club, nigga. Like, I got a whole chick at the crib, dog. Yeah. I got her high school friend, nigga, picking her up, nigga, dance with her. <laughs> I'm bumping to the DJ table, dog. My homeboy, like, cuz, like, you tripping, bro. That's, that's your girl. Her, that's her friend. I'm like, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I keep right. apologizing to everybody. I get to the crib, make a long story short. I threw up in this nigga car. I had to nigga roll the window down. Right. I go up my mom's crib. I got my own crib. Yeah. I go up my mom's crib, dog. And next thing I know, I wake up butt naked with her cell phone. I got oh, a cell phone, nigga. Shit. But I got her shit, nigga. Like, butt naked. I'm like, what the fuck happened? My nigga. God. I call my nigga, dog, apologizing, dog. I'm looking outside the birds, eating my throw up and shit. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm tripping, bro. No, nah, those four locos do it. And the four, the four locos they, they was like, good. they they taste good, but the aftertaste is terrible. Bro. Yeah, that, that taste you have in your mouth the next morning, it's yeah. not worth it. And I think what fucked me up was like just drinking that in the liquor. Yeah, now, and some cheap liquor at that. Right, like some bullshit we used to drink dog. Go to the club was a uh, Seagram Jam 102. Seagram, yeah. Like the one time we just got fucked up, we drinking Seagram, but we chasing it with Still Reserve. Two mm. eleven beer. Hell no. 211 had me laying in a nigga grass one time, bro. One shoe on. Dog. <laughs> dog, but the thing with still, like, dog, I was so fucked up. We was going to this shit. Uh, you heard of uh, Club Blue? Yeah. I'm, nigga, I'm walking to Club Blue. We parked somewhere. We I don't think we should have parked. Luckily, my nigga didn't get no ticket. I'm, I got the whole little bottle of fucking 211. I'm walking towards the club with that bitch. My nigga, like, dog, you fucked up. Like, what you talking about? Nigga, you, you drinking downtown, nigga, like, oh, out yeah. in the open, a beer, nigga. Like, Toe up. Like, nigga, we in that bitch, like, dog, I'm in that bitch fucked up, dog. Like, to the point that, nigga, like, you know when you fucked up, and you know you're going to feel that shit, dog. When you get to a certain level, like, damn, I'm going to be fucked up in the morning, dog. Right. Like, and that's more, nigga, the motherfucking bed spinning, like. Man, nigga. that's the worst when you lay down and everything starts spinning. Yeah, but you, nigga, you in that bitch, the bed spinning. You know it's bitch, over with. You in the fetal position, like, cuz, like, you. <laughs> that's why, that's why to this day, I will never touch a Four loco. Like, dog. the Four loco is what got me sent up here in the first place. Nigga, I was mad that they even had them bitches still in the stores, nigga. Yeah, I thought they had took them off the shelf for they a minute. For a minute. I the guess people they made in Florida bitch. was dying and shit. Yeah, I guess they made that shit a little less powerful, nigga. Yeah, like, so they say. <laughs> yes. They changed the labels, nigga. That's all they did. Hell yeah, same shit. So you say, uh, you was in Atlanta, you got, you know what I'm saying, that little shit. Yeah, I got kicked out of school. So that's the reason why you came back here? Shit, pretty much, because as soon as I got kicked out of school, it's like, all right, I'm basically the only one out of my little clique from high school that went off yes. away from the crib. Yeah. Everybody else just went downtown. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You Georgia State, Georgia Tech, okay. Clark, Atlanta, all that shit is just downtown. Yeah. So when I get back, I'm not really adapting to like, oh shit, I need to just get a job. Yeah. No, nigga, I'm like, well, my man's is the party promoter for this club, so yeah. Monday I'm going here. Yeah. Tuesday I'm going here. It's another party. Like I'm partying. Yeah, so you know, boy, just kicking it. Strong. I'm kicking it, but then I start doing dumb shit. But yeah. it really wasn't dumb to me. Like, all right, if I know all the party promoters and I know like I can get in these clubs or I know I can be on college campus. Yeah. Why not sell weed? <laughs> it made sense to me but at the time. About, like, why not just try to get into this promoting shit? Like, why not just tell them niggas to put me on? Yeah, yeah. But same time, shit, I was put on in a different way. Like, shit, well, that's the nigga with the weed. Yeah. And like I said, I'm I'm smoking like I'm like I'm weed, so I'm pulling, I'm smoking <laughs> with the bitches, I'm selling at the same time. Hell yeah. But the shit got bad because then like you'll be fucked up, and I got to come back to mom's crib. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I said, by this time, my mom married. They both pastors. Yeah. Oh shit. And I got a baby brother that I think I'm LeBron. You yeah, feel me? Like so. To everything you do. Everything I do is having an impact on them. And one night I came back to the crib off the four loco. <laughs> I done got so fucked up that like I done threw up in my own bed yeah. and just laid there. <laughs> <laughs> just laid there. And like I got 
hella weed on me. Yeah. Like, now I always was super careful with, like, bringing this shit back to the crib. Yeah. I always would stash the shit before I come in the house, all that. My mom and I'm playing that. Mm -hmm. But this one time, I'm just messed up. So, shit, my Aunt, Aunt Dukes was like, shit, you got to go. I yeah. stayed I stayed with my sister for a minute. Yeah. Stayed with a few friends for a minute. Yeah. And after a while, shit, I got in some more little bullshit at my sister crib. Yeah. My mom literally showed up with the police. Nigga, like, look, you either get on the bus to go stay with your daddy. Yeah. Or, <laughs> shit, you got a warrant with them anyway. So, yeah. what you want to do? Of course, I'm getting on the bus. <laughs> and so, how old would you when that shit happened? Like, shit, I was literally 19. Man, dog. And like at that time, do you look at it like, 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 damn, mom, like, she I, mean, I was pissed. I like, pissed at her. But at the same time, like, shit, I already knew, like, you couldn't do what you want to do and still be at mom Deuce Creek. Hell no, because then at a certain age, like, nigga, you ain't no kid no more, so she right. ain't got really give a, you know, I mean, she ain't really don't have to give a fuck about you, like, yeah, but especially like, if you bring that bullshit to her crib. Exactly, and like I said, like. I got an older sister, but after that, it's me. And then I got some more siblings. Yeah. So everybody looking to me, basically, like, what's the move? Yeah. Like, you got to do something. Yeah. So, shit, even with me getting kicked out of her crib and going to my sister's crib, I'm still affecting shit at her crib. Hell yeah. Because then it turned to my sister call, like, this nigga over here sipping lean and just sitting on the couch. Like, Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then you, when you, you know you feel like a piece of shit when your motherfucking mom or sister or whoever going to work and they come back still see you. still see you there, like... <laughs> Bro, what you do today? Duh. Cause I didn't understand. Like, duh, why my mom always cuss me out when she get home? Cause, nigga, she working hard as fuck for eight hours. just chilling. I'm in that bitch sitting, putting a dent in the couch, nigga, watching <laughs> motherfucking, uh, uh, making a band and shit. Yeah, and like I said, I was getting out of control, bro. Like, I still was in college party mode. So, yeah. like, nigga, I'm at my sister crib. She got a she got a son. He young as hell. Another person looking at me like, nigga, what you doing? Like, yeah, yeah you my uncle. You, you look cool, but yeah. what the hell going on? <laughs> oh, yeah. But it was time she'd come home and I'm having a kickback. Yeah. Like, we stupid deep in this motherfucker. And then you looking like, why you why you tripping? I ain't like, looking like, why she tripping? I'm just like, bro, I, I, we making money in this bitch. Like, duh. That shit crazy. My sister was not trying to hear that shit. But why do you think, like, nigga, as far as, like, go back to the church, why do, like, people, moms and dads who be in the church, kids always be, like, on some wild shit? I think it's because, like. it's forced on them? It, it's, it's not really that it's forced on them. It just be, like. Um, you feel restricted yeah. And then You damn near feel like You gotta be a whole nother person You yeah, know what I'm saying Cause yeah, yeah. everything is How you gonna be like that Your mama passed Exactly You know what I'm saying, saying? So Like you got something You gotta live up to Yeah whatever. you ain't even looked at As a regular kid yeah. you're like I'm still Experiencing shit as a kid Yeah 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 So you think like Sometimes like Do you think like I know that's mom Deuce And you got love for her But you think like It's putting that pressure on you As far as the church Kind of like Turned you into like I mean look at this other shit Cause I'm seeing this church Every You know what I'm saying So often Whatever my mama passed her her husband, pastor, like, like this can't be, just church can't be everything, you know what I'm saying? No, I looked at it as, like, basically, I was, I already had made up in my mind, like, I'm rebelling, like, yeah. I'm not doing this shit, bro. Yeah. Like, I had that already in my head, like, yeah. I'm gonna be the one to just get the fuck on, like, <laughs> so it wasn't even them. Like, yeah. what they was doing, I already knew it was nothing wrong with what they was trying to teach me. Oh, for sure, for sure. I just, again, I just wanted to see what else was going on. Yeah, yeah. Shit, I wish I would have set my dumb ass down. Man, for sure. But you, man, like I just said, at the end of the day, like, all those experiences be some shit you can learn from for the right. future, dog. Like, it be good, dog. In the time, you be like, damn, I could have did this, I could have did that. Like, mm -hmm. me, I could have got good grades. I could have been doing this shit. Like, things could have went a whole different way. But, I mean, it's just some shit to go ahead and pass on to the next person. Whatever, yes, sir. Dog. Hell yeah. So, you say, um, you move back to Detroit, dog. <laughs> That was the longest bus ride ever, man. Hold on, dog. When I came back up here, I drove from Texas to Detroit. Mm, shit. With, with my life in my motherfucking Hyundai Sonata. Oh, shit. My mama had one of them shit. We broke the seat in that bitch. <laughs> I mean, that motherfucker driving back, dog, because I, I went down there with a little situation, dog. Like, when I went to Texas, dog, like, the whole South, it was, it was different. I don't know about Atlanta, but Texas was a little slower on shit than the, how Detroit is. Right. Like, Detroit hip to shit. Like, in Texas, it was like, damn, this shit a little slower down here. So, like, be down there, it was cool, dog. Me, my my brother met people. We got cool, like niggas was super cool, show love and stuff like that. But I mean, it wasn't the crib. I wish I would stay down there, dog. But the girl I was with at the time, right? Bullshit. I'm down there, like I had no option, dog. Like damn, right. I gotta come back home. I'm riding home, nigga. I'm mean, that bitch, like dog. I don't know how this shit about to turn out. <laughs> but only thing I had, like the only positive thing I had in my mind, like if I'm in Texas for three years by myself, right. I should be able to come back home with family and do it. Hell yeah, like for me, that was not the scenario. Like, <laughs> I felt like they had sent me from heaven to hell. You feel dog, me? Like I'm shit. on the bus riding. This shit was probably like a 21 hour trip. Mm -hmm. I get here, it's like beginning of February. Mm -hmm. so you know, it's cold as shit. 
<laughs> All I got is a denim jacket. I'm about to you go like, right to the fucking. That's the. Worst I hopped off the. I hopped off the bus to the snow. Yeah. With a denim jacket on, and <laughs> my dad looking at me like, "Boy, you about to freeze like a motherfucker." Man. But I mean, in the in the grand scheme of things, though, my mom was just doing what she thought I wanted. Yeah. It was always, you know, when you when you move away from your pops, boys it's always like, shit. "Shit, send me with my dad, then shit, I'll yeah. make it shake." Like, yeah. no, nigga. <laughs> I wanted to call back Like you know what I fucked up yeah, I I'm love coming you, back I'm to sorry. the crib like, You know I'll what I'm saying I'll go to church every day I'll be a pastor You feel me Just, just show me <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean that's no gown, and, and that ain't no knock to my pops Cause again my pops is really Like he probably should have been In the military or something Cause yeah. he's so militant Like yeah. literally bro I came up here It was strictly You gonna get a job yeah. We gonna go to the gym On the weekends yeah. And other than that Like none of that shit going on Oh before you get to that Like when you stay in Atlanta Would you come back up here to visit I came up here probably like three summers. So you wasn't really seeing your dad too often. Now you just no, to like he dad. he would come to all the important events though. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. So you really wasn't you really wasn't getting that motherfucking winter experience. You probably come out here Hell in the summertime. No, summertime only. <laughs> so you say you came up here, y'all y'all strictly doing y'all going by a schedule basically. Yeah, like, straight to work all yeah. week. Weekend yeah. we at the gym. Yeah. Hell yeah. So at that time, like, would you, how long did it take you to kind of like get used to being back here with your pops and junk? Like for you to be like, all right, this is life. Shit, probably about the first, probably like the first six months. Yeah, okay. Cause like, like I said, that was the routine, and like, like I said, I ain't really like no troubled person. But if I don't like some shit, I ain't doing it. Yeah. So like, <laughs> I like I like going to the gym. Of course, I like working. Yeah. But at the same time, like, I ain't gay, bro. I need to be around some females. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't just be in the house and then go in the family member's house. I need to be out and about. Like I'm a I'm a social person. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so. Yeah. My pops was still like, nigga, ain't nothing here. So yeah. you get out the crib, you're yeah. going straight to the streets. It ain't really nothing else to, for you to really get that, into. Dog, that shit crazy. Like, when you from Detroit, like, in the pose of you, you, you moved to Atlanta. Like, me being from Detroit and then going away. It's like, once I went away, I'm like, damn, like, Detroit really, like, I love Detroit. I love my city, but, like, mm -hmm. it ain't too much of shit to do. Right. Like, besides getting in fucking trouble, dog. Right. Like, I mean, you go to the club every weekend. I mean, shit, what's that? Like, getting more trouble possibly. Hell yeah, shit, you walking in the trouble. Hell yeah, so, like, being up here, like, did you, like, did you, you see, you did you notice the motherfucking big difference between being in Atlanta and being back to Detroit? Hell yeah, like I said, shit, I was at a, a liquor store yeah. on Telegraph and Redford. <laughs> you feel me? And I'm, like, sitting in the car while my cousin's going to the store. Yeah. And shit, nigga just mugging me. Yeah. I'm like, shit, what up, bro? Yeah. I nigga say, what the fuck you mean? What's up? Hey. I'm like, oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Like, ain't nothing up over here. Hell yeah. So right, then, right then it hit me like, nigga, you are not at the crib. Hell yeah. So, cause that's kind of like probably like, I mean, you from Detroit, but you, you know, you like, damn, I've been missing a lot of time here. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So how long did it take you to get, you know, what I'm saying acclimated, like being back in Detroit, like, and I'm here, this is home, like, I'm used to this shit, I'm moving, like, I know where to move, where to go. Shit, that probably was like a, a year, yeah. a year or two. Yeah. Cause really, like I said, when I came here, I stood out like a like a short thumb. Yeah, yeah. Like all the shit that's going on now was not going on. So like, nigga, I'm around this bitch in skinny jeans. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas looking at me like that nigga gay. Yeah. You, know, like, you feel me? Like, my cousins like this nigga got on loafers. Like, <laughs> I'm like, bro, this is what we do at the crib. You Hell know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, the, the sure. girls really was like, oh, he ain't from here, so it was giving me an advantage with shit like that. Yeah, it kind of people. But real. still, is is trouble. You feel me? Yeah. Cause yeah. shit, you take a nigga girl. Yeah. You know, niggas kill about them females. Hell yeah, man. For real, for real. So, shit, you back at the crib, dog. You back in Detroit, dog. Like, when did the whole rap aspect come back to you? Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to continue this shit. I'm in a new city. Like, well, shit, that, that, that just turned into my outlet. Okay. You feel me? Like, because yeah. again, nobody was really, I wasn't really fucking with nobody. Nobody fucking with me. Yeah. For the simple fact, they don't know me. Yeah. Or, sure. nigga, you ain't from here. Shit, I can't take you around these certain people. Nigga, look what you got on. You feel me? Like, <laughs> yeah. What's, so, it, what's that motherfucking group with the tight jeans on, dog? The, the uh, new boys. New boys. You know what I'm saying? I done heard it all. <laughs> Nigga teach you how to jerk and shit. I done heard it all. Duh. So shit, I done fucked around and uh, I had a cousin who used to just be rapping in the garage and shit. So yeah. like, I want no people. You tell me you want to do something. Yeah. I'm going to figure out like how we can make this shit happen. Okay. So shit, my cousin Devon was rapping. And I'm like, he had a homeboy named KJ. Mm -hmm. And they like shit. And they trying to do this shit for real. Mm -hmm. So shit, I did my research. I found a little studio. A rough dog studio. Um, they was at the Greenfield Plaza. Yeah, yeah. I so I'm like, shit, let's do it. And then I was, I'm, I've been like up on Nip. Yeah. I've been up on Nipsey since like 2010. I'm gonna talk to you about that. So like, when I when I watched his grind and his come up, 
Yeah. I already knew what I wanted to do. Yeah. I just ain't know how to approach it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So shit, I didn't tried everything like trying to get my people to put money in on the shit. Yeah. Like I was like fuck it, I'm gonna start making t-shirts. Yeah. I'm gonna sell the t-shirts. The t-shirt gonna pay for my studio time. I'm gonna drop tapes with the t-shirts. Yeah. I already had a plan. That's, that's what you was doing. That's what I attempted. <laughs> you feel me? But again, it go back to what you said. Like everybody can't. Go with you when you level up. No, it can't. Because everybody ain't got too. the same vision, yeah. or some people that shit look out of reach. Yeah. So like I'm telling my I'm telling my cousin and his homeboy nigga, this is what we about to do. Yeah. You get you a logo, you get you a logo. We gonna get them bitches pressed up, and every time you drop a tape, we gonna drop a new T-shirt with that motherfucker. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Niggas want fucking with that shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> dog, that shit crazy. Cause like even with this podcast, you say that shit like dog. I had my. Lance nigga, I shouted out him and his boy, like dog, let's do this shit. Right. Like we I was gonna call it like some some corny shit. We probably would change the name, but it's gonna be twenty one, two plus one, three. Yeah. Whatever. And we was gonna be talking about little topics and shit, but they didn't wanna do it. And like sometimes like your people can hold you back from like not doing it your damn stuff. I ain't even gonna say your people. It's you yeah. holding yourself back because you relying on, on them doing it with you. Nigga, you feel sure. me? Because that's Hell exactly yeah. what was going on with Hell me. Hell yeah. So nigga, I'm in that bitch like one day, nigga, I got tired of seeing everybody else doing shit, dog. Like, mm-hmm. we at the crib, like, and that's why it's crazy, because I was looking on your Instagram page when I be trying to get, like, a little research. I seen that Nip play a big part in your, you know what yeah. saying, come up. And, like, that's the thing with me. Like, I was on Nip. I wasn't, I wouldn't say too early, but when he dropped that Crenshaw, he yeah. was selling the album for $100. Right. And I'm like, damn, this nigga, like, let me see what this is about. I saw him on Sweet in the Morning one day. I listened to the CD, like, dog, that shit cold. Yeah, like, and it was all business talk. And like yeah, I said, yeah. I was looking for a mentor. Yeah. I ain't had no mentor, but shit, you cut on that nip. That yeah. nigga teaching you. Yeah, dog, yeah, for real. So I'm looking at that shit, and then, like, as far as the podcast, when Nip died, nigga, I'm like, the impact he had at fucking 33 years old, nigga, it's right. crazy. Like, Tupac, nigga, like, that's the first time I shared a tear for a nigga I didn't know. Right. Like, damn, that's fucked up. Like, he got kids, he got a girl. He got like, everything he, you know what I'm saying? he didn't work for. And he trying to build up his community. So, like, with that shit, I'm like, dog, he making an impact at 33. Let me go ahead and really, like, deep dive into my shit. So, yeah, like, yeah. I started releasing more music, started this podcast, the coaching shit. Like, all that shit is due to, to that situation. For sure. So, like, it be fucked up that a nigga death got to make you realize shit, but that's how it be sometimes. That's how it work, but you got to also think, like, the way I looked at it, and I, ain't, I don't want to offend nobody, but, like, Shit, it took Jesus to die for everybody to follow him. Hell yeah. You know what Hell I'm saying? Yeah. That's how I felt about the situation. And like I said, like like you said, I cried when Nip died. Like, I knew him. Yeah. But it was also because, like I said, I had just, I just was telling, starting to tell people yeah. more and more about Nip. And I'm more like, this is why I was doing what I was doing. Because yeah. I had just put out my first tape, dropped hoodies with it and everything. Mm-hmm. And so, like, in the midst of me talking about it to people, I, I'm my phone literally blowing up. Like, yeah. I'm in Atlanta. I went back for my sister's graduation. Yeah. Everybody talking to me about my music and the hoodies and shit. So we chopping it up. And in the midst of these conversations, I'm throwing in Nip. Yeah. I'm telling them about them. And I'm getting text messages and calls. Yeah. Niggas telling me Nip just died. Yeah. So I'm like, damn, yeah. this shit crazy. Man, crazy as hell, bro. But then, like I said, on the way back to the crib, I ain't gonna lie. Niggas shed tears off the fact that, like, on a deeper meaning, it's like, I've been watching this man, like, really build his empire. Hell yeah. And then he get to victory lap, which is the shit he was talking about. Yeah. The shit he was working his way up to, literally signing a deal. But being in a partnership with a label sure. and making it, uh, giving them avenues for him to build up businesses in his yeah. community and stuff, yeah. and then he died. Yeah. So then it made me think, like, damn, when you finish with your purpose, it's just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that should make you start thinking about, about just, your like, own purpose. Nigga, for real, dog. Because, yeah. like, what impact are you going to make? Like, what are you going to leave? Yeah, are you going to be just like, oh, that was just Rashad, or that was just Buddy, like, nigga, like, exactly. like niggas, niggas going to talk about you, nigga, years after you go? Yeah. That's the, the whole thing I feel like the life purpose is, like, dog, what impact did you make on this earth like not only to your of course to your kids to your your wife or your mom and dad but like to niggas who don't even know you but it, like i even look at shit like that like all right for example i got two sons yeah. and like me and their mom don't always see eye to eye shit a lot of times we don't see eye to eye yeah. so when i'm gone this is the person that's gonna be left to tell my kids yeah. you feel me like sure. that'd be that nigga wasn't shit Hell You feel yeah, me you if, I don't, if I don't leave If I don't leave some work behind I don't leave property and shit behind yeah. And they names And all this other shit I gotta rely on other people To speak highly on me Yeah yeah for and sure And shit Nobody gonna do that for you nigga Don't nobody see you How you see you Yeah man For sure for sure That's why I say like, The whole little salute me like, When my man had passed away At uh, Slick B Yeah And then Kobe and like, Everybody passed away like, 2020 been a fucked up year a Fucked up year already <laughs> Yeah So sure. it's like dog What are you gonna do to, Like if something happened to me God God forbid, dog, that my kids can come back like them. My my dad did this. Like my dad was a coach. He was changing shit as far as kids with coaching. For sure, he was a motherfucker uh, husband. He was motherfucking doing his podcast, bringing niggas on. Like 
I've been on podcasts or tried to get on podcasts. Niggas try to charge me to get on that shit. Like, cause I got Definitely more followers than happen. I got more followers than you. Like, what am I gaining? Like, <laughs> like, for real, for real. So, like, my thing is, dog, like, I started this whole shit just to build niggas up and build myself up at the same time. For sure. Like, it's a, like I said, a partnership. Yeah. Me and you, we both uh, share this shit. We both. Uh, and I'm coming back with every project. Yeah, I have a lot to. Hell yeah, dog. So shit, I don't even know where we was at, but we, <laughs> <laughs> we talk about the whole Nipsey shit, like. Yeah, like, I said he, that shit real to me. I so got he, the shit put on me. Oh yeah, yeah the hell marathon yeah. continues. You feel me? Hell like, yeah, for I sure. really, I really believe in that shit. Cause like I said, when I came up here, I started getting into trouble and shit like that. I never been in. You feel me? Yeah. And literally, nigga, I'm by myself up here. My yeah. pops don't even stay out here no more. So. Mm. Shit, I had to really try to turn my life around and really use that that slogan or that saying, nigga, the marathon continues. Like, this ain't it for you. Yeah, so where you, your, your pops moved out of Detroit? Yeah, my pops gone. Damn, you came to the bitch and he dipped. <laughs> and he, but at the same time, like I said, my, my pop, my pop so there, like, yeah. he wasn't going to leave unless I said, like, I'm yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Like, even now, shit, on the way here, he, he on the phone, like, hey. Yeah. Now you exposing yourself You know what's going on Like you know what yeah. I'm saying He he all the way tuned in yeah, yeah, So yeah. like again I had to tell him though Cause with me moving to Atlanta And seeing all the shit That I'm seeing And okay. it changed me as a person yeah. My dad never left the city okay. To live You know yeah. what I'm saying So I had to be a man And be like shit If you happy with your wife And your wife leaving You gotta go You yeah, gotta yeah. You need to go see other stuff too You for know sure, what I'm saying sure. Wait, wait, say nah nah he out in Jersey right now. That's what's up. Shout out they, to my pops. Full time lockdown. Right? Yeah, no, well, they, no, they, they got, got curfew. 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 Yeah, they got yeah. curfew. And I, I pray for my pops every day. Man. Man. But that's, that's funny you say that shit because the uh, the chick I'm with now, we about to get married and shit. Like me moving back to Detroit, like and we we met and shit. Then I was coming out here visiting. Like dog, if I come to Detroit, I know I got her. Like so then I came back to the bitch. Like like you said with your dad, like niggas should yeah. leave. Like I came back to the bitch. Like niggas, since I met her, everything been on the on the up. Right. Like yeah, that's how you know when you fucking with somebody. Like are you uh. <laughs> You you got three kids, right? Yeah. So I'm I'm sure the youngest kids, that's who you with. Yeah. Like like so do it do it she do she feed you motivation as far as your music? Like do she do she support you or like Well like, shit, I can't even lie. Right now we going through a rough patch of shit. <laughs> but at the same time though, even even through even through the rough patch of shit, yeah. like like she know she know how uh passionate I am about my music yeah, and shit. Sure, sure. So like even in the midst of like you know how the girls do so, like she might block a nigga yeah, or yeah, some shit yeah. well she she ain't never did that I ain't gonna even tell that story she ain't gonna never block me but like yeah. she definitely like hey even though I'm I don't fuck with you right now or I'm mad at you I was listening to your project yeah. or she posted my project or yeah. cause on the real when we were on you know what I'm saying the best terms ever yeah. she was the motivation to be like yeah. Hey, go ahead and put this shit out. Yeah. I listen to this shit every day in my phone. Okay. So I'm like, damn. All right, maybe I got some. Yeah. Because again, sure. I ain't never really played my music for other people for them to be like, oh, this shit hard. Yeah. So when yeah. I played it for her and she like sent it to my phone, I'm like, all right, whatever. Yeah. I sent her the whole project to the to um to her phone and she playing it every day. She didn't put the shit in the, in the order. Yeah. Of how she liked to hear it. Yeah. Like that's yeah. how the um the sequence for the first project even got put together. Okay. So again, yeah, she was a big, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. She was a big motivation. Yeah, yeah but we, yeah, when you talking about that, man, I, I only asked you that about, you know, you being with your youngest kid. Cause I saw on Christmas, y'all was, you know what I'm saying, had the matching outfits and shit. But that, that, that's like something <laughs> so I always like, was okay. on, like, yeah. regardless if we going to be together or not. Yeah. Um, like I said, because my sons are, are not by her. Okay. But on holidays, I don't think that they should suffer because. Yeah, because y'all not. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. Like. So it even take a mature person to be like, all right, bet yeah. let's all get together and do this. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So. That shit, cause like I said, my oldest son, me and his mom not together. Right. But like when she come to town, which I think it'd be like in a week or two, like nigga, me and my my fiance can go to her, her her husband dad crib, right? Her, his dad crib, right? Nigga, we over there bitch drinking eighteen hundred for some reason, but <laughs> we been that bitch drinking shit like nigga, like that's some shit that nigga. A couple years ago, I would never been able to do. Right. But when you get older, like you like, man, shit, it's shit for the kids. Right. Cause she got two kids outside of us. I got a kid outside of us. We got one kid together. Yeah. So of course, like her daughter's gonna be, you know, what I'm saying, talking to my my little baby boy. Exactly. When he on Facetime with his sisters, he think my youngest son thinking that's his sister. Right. Because that's his brother's sisters. Yeah. So they all yelling each other names on the phone and shit. So sometimes you just gotta be man enough to know, like, nigga, shit, it's a, it's bigger than me. It's bigger than you. Your feelings. You gotta put that as a man, though. We gotta take a lot of shit on the chin and put in, put your feelings in your pocket. Yeah, hell yeah. So shit, like I said, that, that was something I. First of all, I ain't gonna lie. At first, I was beating myself up about it. Like, I ain't never want to be one of the niggas. Like, you got kids over here, kids yeah. over there. Like, yeah. but once once it happened, it happened. And yeah. shit, I love all my kids. So, yeah, yeah. when it come to holidays or birthdays or some shit, I'm trying to get everybody together. For 
It ain't really the kids it, You know It's more so the people That come with them Yeah <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah man But shit That shit work out like Nigga I, you, Nigga back then Like that was my little High school girl You gonna tell me like Oh we gonna be cool Like man fuck no We we not together nigga We not fucking together Like that's right. it But my mom was like Dog like Y'all got a kid together He seen that shit So like nigga you, What you telling him About his mom even though you might know some shit, like at the end of the day, you don't want him yeah, to know that shit. I ain't gonna never speak illy on him. You Hell know what I'm saying? Not. Especially not to him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not not to my kids. And I try not to speak illy about them on public platforms or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I put yeah. a little shit in my music, but yeah. that's just because that's the shit I really went through. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Which I ain't never gonna dog nobody, but like on the last tape, the tape I just put out, like I said, shit, my my baby mama wrote the statement. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. She tried to have me on some Roderick versus State shit. <laughs> yeah. Like, and that was just, it just that's 100 shit. Yeah. If you, you got public record, you can go look at this shit. Man, for sure. Hell yeah. Because like I said, I don't dog her on, the, on this bitch, but I'll be like, shit, she cheating on me out here on her. <laughs> shit, I, was, I was drunk one day. I was climbing on motherfucking apartment building trying to go ahead and see who she was fucking with. Somebody. Man, yeah. <laughs> Definitely did some bullshit. Dog, for sure. Like, hey, you doing some shit like this. But you super never thought you would do. Like, nigga, I mean, that bitch being Spider Man? Like, man, I'm, I'm dead serious about finding out she cheating on me or not. Like, not not even knowing it don't even matter, bro. Yeah, like at the end she of the day, do like, whatever the fuck she won't do. Exactly. Like at the end of the day, dog, she fucking with another dude, you fucking with another chick. Like, I'm not gonna get back with her. So why am I fucking mad, dog? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's a different animal when she got your child, though. Yeah, hell yeah. That shit be like that shit is nigga that I was one this shit my dad told me some shit when I was younger and this shit just always stuck with me and it's always been the truth, bro. Yeah. Fucking money, women, and drugs will start a war, man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. For real. Hell yeah. Real. And, they, and they behind every war that ever happened. Man, for real. Because you'll be fucking with a chick and don't even know. Like, that's why you got to know. Like, if you mess with a new chick, you got to know your situation. Especially Hell if you yeah. got kids. Like, because is this nigga crazy, dog? Cause I'm asking questions. Like, you, yeah. got, you got a baby daddy, you got a stalker, you got a boyfriend. What's going on? Hell yeah. Because nigga be like, oh, Felicia, oh, she fuck with a nigga buddy. I'm at the nigga dope still. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? You never know. Nigga might be following And nigga. you don't know who the fuck know you from this shorty. And, like, you don't know nothing about this person. Because yeah. a female won't even show you her baby daddy. You Hell feel yeah. me? Hell yeah. That's why I say I'm a man. Thank God. Like, my girl put a, a, a stat saying, like, she she never expected to be with someone with kids already. But that she is with somebody. Like, she thanking God that we got a good co-parenting system. Right. Like, nigga, there's no beef. Like, nigga, I ain't talking shit about you. We friends on Facebook. Nigga, you friends with my girl on Facebook. Like, right. nigga, it's nothing. Which, which is, it, it usually be like that When that other person Which would be In your situation yeah. Would be your other baby mama yeah. When they ain't really In their feelings About still trying to be with you And shit Yeah you gotta make sure You don't like them pictures And shit cause Yeah <laughs> You feel me? like that first baby mama picture You like hold on cuz You still fuck with it Fuck like, you um Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah no I ain't gonna lie Me and my me and my son's mom, we that social media shit dead. Cause yeah. I already know it'd be back and forth, like yeah. you know what I'm saying, just bullshit. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. So shit, like you got three, you got what, two boys and a girl. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, so you got it. But see, that's good. You got the two kids, the two boys. They gonna protect her. Yeah, regardless. so anything happen, God forbid, you got. They gonna protect her. For regardless. Sure. That's what I'm saying. Like right now, I want my last one to be a girl. Yeah. So then, it's, like I said, if something happened to me, like nigga, I got uh, old old hand who thirteen. Right, he on he <laughs> on deck with it. Hell yeah, so shit, I'm all good. If anything happened to me, God forbid, dog. For sure. So as far as the music, dog, like I know we talk about that, but like, who are some people like influence you? Who are some people you was looking up to as far as like rap game coming up? And just before you start, you know, saying really rapping for real, for real. Well, shit, when I was just like in my room writing shit or like picking beats, mm -hmm. you know, it was really Kanye. Yeah. Like Kanye was my go-to. Man. Like I. When I first heard College Dropout That shit gave me chills Rest in peace Kanye <laughs> <laughs> Like dog God forbid anything Happened to that nigga but. Man but dog it's Like I say that shit To say like The, the real Kanye The first three albums Dog was like <sighs> The shit he was talking about Dog like But I mean I Like I'm a person That can't uh, decipher Music So like even in the Fucked up music That he gives I still be like, yo, that sample was hard as yeah, a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, for sure. even when he on there talking about boom bap, whatever the fuck that shit was, <laughs> like that shit was trash. But the the sample was crazy. <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah. He a genius when it comes to this whole little shit, dog. I just wish he was just stay consistent, like. And now, like with him dropping that little church shit, like if it changed, right. then it's gonna be like, dog, what you using in church, like as far yeah, as like and selling. I, and I just be more so hurt that like. Cause it was at one point where you would have these super producers and you couldn't wait till they work with your favorite artist. I knew you about to say. So like I was, I'm hurt that like we would never hear projects with like him linking up with like a whole project with just Future or like oh, yeah. a whole project with a little baby or like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, shit, I, I probably yeah. won't ever get a chance to get no damn Kanye beats. Hell yeah, cause Kanye back in the day like with him and um 
him and Jay, because Jay, he did the whole little, what, the Dynasty album and yes. the Blueprint, like... And, and on, even on the albums by itself, where it wasn't, like, all produced by Kanye, the ones that really stuck out yeah, it was, was him. the ones, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And the one he, when he, shit, re, uh, uh, got coming back popping. Right. Like, nigga, Kanye, like, is a genius, dog, but I just think sometimes, I don't know, I don't know, sometimes he might be in his own way. I feel like he, in some ways, he, he um, feeds into the... The antics, yeah. and then sometimes I just be thinking like it's a big age gap, bro. And yeah. somewhere along the line, the nigga just got out of touch. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, man. So who who are some other people you was looking at to besides him and Hov? For real. Yeah. For sure. And that was just strictly on some fashion shit at first, because like I said, I just was looking for ways to just stand out and yeah. be me. Yeah. And I had to really like think about it, bro. Like I was, I'm I'm only about five eight now. Yeah. I was four eleven then. <laughs> yeah. So like I'm wearing tall. Tall ass tees and tall dog. jerseys, nigga. Yeah, these bitches yeah. look like dresses. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, my yeah. jeans. I don't even wear a 38 now. You feel yeah, me? But back dog, then, a nigga had the 38, 38 your bows. Well, yeah, nigga, everybody had the bows on with the motherfucker so, belt. Shit. Nigga, gotta make sure you put the extra little motherfucker hole. Yeah, in you got to. You you got to poke a hole in that bitch <laughs> with a knife. Hell yeah. So shit, like uh, I was looking at Pharrell for like on some fashion shit. Like he was different. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that that style fit me. So I just was like looking to him, and then I fell into his music around the time. Um, that Snoop shit came out. Dog, yeah. that shit. I remember had that mistake. Was it Let's Get Blown or something? Yeah. Shit. And he had this one girl in these gray sweats, dog. <laughs> nigga, I'm happy. I never get that girl in them gray sweats, Those boy. sweats like, was immaculate. Nigga, like, dog. That's what Snoop, he, he kind of like... Re- I, Snoop had his, his fucking rap career resurrected a lot. Like, yeah. with Master P. And then with For Real, like... That nigga Snoop, like, one of the people, like... I don't give a fuck if you a baby or you a adult. If you white or black, you know who Snoop is. Right. That's why I say Snoop is probably the most most famous. Rapper. He the most famous rapper alive yeah, ever, dog. Like ever, everybody knew who the fuck Snoop Dogg is, and he could always adjust with the times. Right. Like he never be like one of them old heads who be like, oh, I ain't fucking with these, you know, saying new niggas. Like, yeah. He always fuck with new niggas, and he always got some type of. Even with Detroit, nigga, fuck with Casico. Yeah. Uh, what's the nigga name? Casico. Yeah. The battle rap nigga. Calico. Yeah. I said Casico. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Calico. Like he all he fuck with Detroit heavy. Like he know how the motherfucker stay in the times. For right. So, but like, yeah, so let me. I gotta make sure to shout this one, this nigga out. Cause before I start rapping, um, like put my own music out. Yeah. Like I definitely, like I said, I was listening to Kanye, Pharrell, Wiz, yeah. Rick Ross, yeah. and T Pain. Yeah, nigga, T Pain, nigga, changed a lot of shit. T Pain, Rick Ross, nigga, Rick Ross, like me and my uncle always talk about. This nigga got a motherfucking ear for the for the production yeah, style. Like for sure. If I ever like, if somebody like dog, I need somebody. You you want somebody who in the game? A and R your joint. Rick Ross. Rick Ross. Hell yeah, Rick fucking Ross, dog. Cause that nigga, dog. I always say Nas nah, should go to Rick Ross as far as like Man, production. I don't know who the hell we picking Nas <laughs> beats, bro. But he should have been fired a long time ago, bro. <laughs> Hell yeah, his shit Like, be- he need to go back to whoever picked that Uchiwali beat Duh. and let them pick the beats. Because yeah. after that, I don't know who the fuck was picking them bitches. Duh, I think it's nice that we have some trans beats for real, though. But he be rapping some shit on it, so you kind of go past the beats. You really bit. don't even want to hear the beat. Like, I'd rather just turn the beat <laughs> off and just let Nas nah, speak. Yeah. He need to drop a whole album, Nas nah, speak, no yeah. beat. Yeah. But Ross, though, Ross was my nigga, though, from the jump. Ross, Jeezy. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first time I heard Trap of Dog, was, yeah, that was... Man. In the middle of Atlanta, you listening to Trap of Down when it first I came imagine, out. That shit, was, that shit was amazing. I could fucking imagine, dog. Like, Jeezy, like, Jeezy and T.I., like, the niggas, dog, to me. I, yeah. I love both of them niggas. Like, yeah. That first, one, that first album, yeah. that Thug Motivation, like, classic. And then you can't skip a song, nigga. Yeah, and that tip, uh, Trap Music was, was ridiculous. But, like, the reason why I didn't say them is because at the time of me trying to find myself yeah. I was trying to find shit that was outside of my comfort zone yeah. just so I could stand out you know yeah. what I'm saying and like I, it's nothing to go into a conversation and everybody was already talking about the Gucci mans and the Jeezys yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. so I'd be like no nah, I don't listen to none of that shit bro I've been really playing this shit right here cut yeah, on some yeah. Kanye and everybody looking at you like <laughs> Nigga, we ain't even in college. Like, what the fuck is he talking about? Duh, yeah. Kanye was that nigga, though, dog. Now, as far as you, like, yo, speak on your first time in the studio, and what's some shit that you need in the studio? Shit, in the stew? I really, like, you I like, need... Do you like a lot of people, or you like that bitch? No, nah, I don't really, because I, I might be trying some shit, and, like, I could be in the booth, and you know how you can look out the window, yeah. and you might see somebody chuckling like a motherfucker. <laughs> they might not... You, know, you gotta remember, you got on headphones and shit, so... They can't hear you on the beat. They yeah. just hear what you're doing. Yeah. And they might not even be laughing at what you're doing, but it yeah, just but throw you fucking, off. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, I just always go, like, sometimes, majority of the time, I go by myself. Yeah. But 
if I do go with a couple people, it gotta be some people that like I trust or yeah. some people that like really fuck with music. You know what I'm saying? Okay. They got an ear for it because like. Yeah. Need some, some some good feedback, not just no bullshit. Yeah, and I don't be want no yes man, but at, like I, like I said, a lot of times I find myself in the studio by myself. Yeah, me and the engineer. Hell yeah! So your first time in the studio, dog? How good or bad was that? The first time in the studio, yeah. um, the shit to me was lit. Like I ain't, I ain't never had like a really no bad time in the studio just for the simple fact like I would literally sit there until I figure this shit out. Yeah. Like so if I'm off key or whatever, like the auto tune fucked up, something yeah. fucked up, I will sit here, I will pay. It. I would literally be working on a song and it's time for me to go and I'm like, bro, I'll give you another hour, bro. We gotta fix this shit. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So shit, what's the, um like as far as like you recording and shit, like do you uh do you write your shit? Do you just come up to the studio and have your shit ready or do you just write that shit in the studio? Like, cause a lot of niggas uh like to say like, oh yeah, I don't, they just went I don't in there. write, I just go in that bitch and freeze out. Like at first I was writing the whole shit out. Yeah. Now well, on this last tape, I literally recorded that shit myself. Yeah. So like, I'm just turn the mic on, yeah. find the melody, find the, you know what I want to say, yeah. and I'm just going with it. But before then, I would write like the first four bars. Yeah. And like, I, this might be on some nerdy shit, but like, <laughs> I always thought about records like essays. Yeah. And like, in back in school, they'll tell you like when you write that essay, your opening introduction gotta like it gotta go hard or Hell nobody yeah. gonna read the rest of this shit. Hell no. So I always focused on the first four bars, and I always was able to build on top of that on how that shit made me feel when I heard it back. Yeah, well, you want type of nigga like I remember when I first went to the studio, dog. Like you trying to make sure that shit so perfect, you trying to rap too much on beat that you listen, you listen to it. Like, Damn, am I reading it? Like you, it's not like you read the motherfucker. Right. Like yeah. yeah, I mean at first I was like that because it's like you don't really realize when you writing it, yeah. like how you gotta like try to put the shit on the beat. Like yeah, you might, sure. it might not sound. You might. Have to switch up how you heard it in your head exactly. to put it to fit exactly. it on the beat, and that, like I said, that's what made me like start going from um, writing those four bars to like I need to get some shit at the crib. <laughs> Hell yeah! Hell yeah! So I know, like I, I uh, looked at a different uh, podcast interview you did, and you was talking about how like you named your um, your first project Runt because yeah. like motherfucker be talking about big dog and shit, and you know what I'm saying you already kind of like you know what I'm saying small and shit like that. Yeah. Like that was the whole thing behind that. Like yeah, basically, like I said, to play, the, a play on words or whatever. Yeah, the, the way I the way I came up. I was always around older people yeah. and bigger people. Yeah. So I was always looked at as the run of the crew. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And shit, don't never sleep on the run for real, though. Because at no, some point, he going to be the big dog up. or shit. He the most aggressive one. Yeah. So like, I just fed off of that. Yeah. Because with that shit, I listened to it. Uh, that Dead Broke, that was my uh, favorite uh, oh, shit. Oh, word? Hell yeah. 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 So like with that shit, like, and then I know you dropped an EP, whatever, uh, four song EP. That's the one you said that you, that's doing your little ass in there, right? Like, yeah. Right after... Like so, um, when do you plan on dropping any more things? And like, are you more with the EP or with the album? Like, like right now, I just dropped. I just dropped another EP. Okay. Um, I think it's like six songs. Yeah. And that right there was just, like I said, I just want to start flooding shit. Like, yeah. I got music that I just been recording at the crib, mm -hmm. and like I said again, I got people that I done sent the songs to, and they like, bro, I play this shit every day. Yeah. So it's like shit. I might as well put that shit out. And might as well get something back from yeah, it. Yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. Dog. Especially at this time, like niggas want so much. They listen to some shit today that you just put out. But like, dog, when you gonna put some more shit out? Right. Like, nigga, they don't give you a week. Like, back in the day, you used to be able to live with that shit for like a year. Right. Like, nigga, nigga not with this social media and your phone and shit. Like, you ain't got time to be just sitting on your ass. Like, Hell no. you gotta be ready to put another project out for real. Yeah, yeah. And, I'm, and I'm like, I'm always recording. Okay. So it don't even really be so much of the pressure of other people. I get tired of listening to the same shit. Hell yeah. And like, sometimes I find myself going back listening to niggas I didn't listen to just to see how, right. you know what I'm saying, like old Method Man, Red Man, yeah. Ray Kwan, like trying to see like the what the fuck they was rapping about back in the day, you feel me? Yeah. Hell yeah. So like, with that shit being said, like, do you feel yourself like, put pre I ain't going to say put pressure, but do you see yourself like, at this age, <clears> I'm not going to do this shit no more. Like, if I don't get this shit in five years or four years, like, I'm done. No, nah, because for the simple fact, you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. Even if I switch lanes and shit, get on some podcast and shit, it ain't gonna never be like I'm just done with music. Yeah, I'll yeah. probably be recording, go back to not putting the shit out, but I'll be in the car jamming to that shit. <laughs> Hell yeah, that bitch but like, honestly though, like the bag that I've been in lately is just with me getting out of my comfort zone at this point in my life. It's like I don't see myself stopping. Yeah, yeah. And, and like I said, I'm not one of them people that's just like I'm just so out of reach with people. Like yeah. I feel like um, networking is. It's the best thing that can ever happen for people. Man, and yeah. there ain't no telling who gonna hear my music or how it's gonna get passed down. I just feel like something's gonna happen. Hell yeah. So what you 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 stay in Atlanta, you stay in Detroit, dog. Mm -hmm. Of course I know I kinda know the answer you're gonna answer this like who show the most support? 
<laughs> Shit, Atlanta for sure. Hell yeah. Shit. That's the thing about Detroit. I don't know because I ain't been nowhere else, but Detroit niggas don't want to see you do doing more than them. Especially if you doing me and you doing music, and I see yeah. y'all trying to me. Watch well, I support you. Right. Man, I'm trying to get my shit off. But I ain't gonna lie though. I didn't seen a turn. I didn't definitely seen a turnaround though. Oh yeah, it's been yeah. Niggas a little bit better, but yeah, still got that. I mean, I guess that's everywhere though. As far as niggas hating on. Yeah, because like, like I feel like if I was in Atlanta. I probably would still feel the same way. Like, yeah. bro, y'all niggas ain't fucking with me for real. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, the simple fact that I ain't there yeah. and niggas is like, they don't get to see me every day. So it's like, a, oh, this is how we get to hear what the fuck going on with them. Yeah. So, like, here, I kind of feel like it's the same thing. For them artists that's so accessible, mm-hmm. you be like, bro, I already heard everything this nigga can say. I'll be <laughs> seeing this nigga at the barbershop all the time. <laughs> like, but, like, like, again, like, when Sada drop, yeah. you gonna listen to that shit. Oh, yeah. And that's somebody I just talked about in the last. Two podcasts ago, like that's somebody I'm just starting to be like, damn, he, he is straight, like yeah. for real, for real. Like I listen to him, I listen to payroll, yeah, um, a throwback, stretch money, okay, yeah, like um, KDZ, okay, yeah, you know what I'm saying, like I like those. But see, that's what I'm saying. Like literally, I just seen KDZ at like Dollar Tree, nigga, like. <laughs> so that and that ain't no knock on him. Shit, you got it. He was niggas getting water. We all know what's going on. Back to <laughs> say. Cause niggas ain't getting no water right now. Right, shit. he he hit a lick. <laughs> <laughs> so like, do you feel like with your uh your career and shit, you feel like if you stay in Atlanta, it'd be a little bit bigger than what it is now? Hell yeah. Cause yeah. I got like the way me and you network. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I would have been able to pull up on a few more people. Yeah. And they already kind of know me from like. Like, cause you, like I said, you go to school with people, mm-hmm. and then they grow up and be whoever the fuck they gonna be. But they might be in certain positions yeah. that can help you get somewhere else, and they sure. already know you from the past. Oh yeah. So, but I mean, here, like I said, I like I like meeting new people. Yeah. So uh, the people that I have met though, they fuck with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I just I, I got through you like I do, man. Every night though, if I go to bed, I just be searching like tags, hashtags, yeah. and shit. And then I seen your shit like as far as like. Your music and shit like that It was pretty straight and shit like Yeah that. good looking Hell yeah So like Do you ever feel like Sometimes you be like Damn maybe I should move back Or move away from Detroit Just to If you Or you give yourself a certain time frame Like if I ain't popping here I gotta go somewhere else To get this shit cracking It ain't even so much of like Ain't popping type shit It's more like What's going on In, in my surroundings Yeah So right recently It's definitely been in the talks About me going back home Okay yeah. So what's what's like what's gonna be like the ending point or the point that be like you know what shit is it's done like I'm I'm going. Shit, I mean that's coming soon. Like it ain't <laughs> it ain't even just like no. Yeah. If this happen, I'm gone. It's more like bro, like I said, I'm 27. I'll be 28 this year. Yeah, yeah. My parents getting older. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like my siblings getting older, yeah. and it's just like I feel like I need to be around them. It ain't even so much about the music shit. I'm gonna record wherever. Okay. Shit, I'll record in the bathroom You set the <laughs> mic up Hell yeah, for real, for real, dog so, Damn, yeah, shit This is his last podcast He went to Atlanta, cuz <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna say it's the last, though But, like, as far as, like Even when I get back there yeah. my, my my hopes is Or I ain't even gonna say hope What's gonna happen is I'm gonna buy some property and shit up here So I'm gonna make sure I'm back and forth Back and forth, yeah And like I said, shit As far as my kids' situation I know my son's mom ain't gonna let them just move down there. Yeah. So shit, I'll be I'll be here. Okay, that, uh, let's talk about you before we move anything else. Let's talk about you got a label with Overtime Mafia. Yeah. Like is that is it you or some other people or is it somebody you trying to you know saying build up? Yeah, it's something I'm trying to build up. Like I said, I'm a big Nip fan. Yeah. And if anybody know Nip, you know he was moving with his own label before he ever signed with anybody, and he built himself up. Yeah, so yeah. it ain't even just about signing artists. It's more like graphic designers, mm-hmm. uh, videographers. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I really be on that. Yeah, it be some shit that's like. Is some shit that you want to do as far as like t- doing videos or shit, or is some shit you want to bring people? On? I want to bring people on. Like my my goal is to build a whole team of people. Yeah. And like, let me go ahead and say this for the other artists that's out here, and like, you think that you need a label to do all of this shit? You find somebody else that's on the same time that you on yeah. coming up, just like you coming up. And so, like, so right now, if I found a cameraman, yeah. I'm gonna shoot a video for every song I fucking got. Yeah. But it's gonna be with this cameraman. For example, how the baby work with uh the real goats. Okay. The most likely got them signed a billion billion dollar baby uh entertainment. Yeah. But that shit helps because when you go to a label, you come with a whole production company, you come with your own producers and all this yeah. other shit. The bag is only gonna get bigger and you already got your team of people. Oh yeah, for sure. So shit. That's what I'm on. I'm oh, just trying to build myself up. So you ain't looking for no label, you kinda looking like for a partnership. Partner for sure. Yeah, I ain't yeah. I ain't trying to 
Nobody need to hold the bag over my head and be like, when you turn 50, you get this shit, boy. Like, no, bro. Because yeah, the most important thing is on your masters. masters like, just yeah. having some your know, rights and shit. Because you see what's ain't going through that shit right now. Mid the stallion, like, yeah. as far as the 60 40 deal and her 40% going to, like, studio time videos, shit like that. So at the end of the day, you looking like, I'm only coming home with a certain amount. I got to do so many fucking tours just to bring in, bring in yeah. some good money. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't really want no company. Yeah. To control all my shit like yeah. that. That's like I look at them old school like cash money deals that Birdman was setting up mm -hmm. and Master P when niggas like nigga owning they shit like nigga right. Jay Z fought to own the the masters for reasonable doubt. Right. Like nigga Dame Dash a whole ass nigga. But yeah, like <laughs> God look at some shit like Dame Dash one of those smart dumb niggas. Right. Like, Too smart for his own good. Yeah, like I I be seeing nigga like though you fucked up a whole thing because I mean the little I, like now I got about it like Jay Z didn't really focus him afterwards because he was burning bridges right that jay-z was like building like nigga like at the end of the day it's a certain plateau i want to reach and you fucking that shit up right so and and he just didn't have like the foresight to see um like it became a thing where record companies wasn't really the thing yeah. so then you had to like adjust we gonna sell this record company but shit we gonna do management mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like and he wasn't with that shit. Yeah. Like, and like, man, Rock, the Rockefeller back then, I don't know about for you, but like, that was like... Man, I bought everything. <laughs> I had S-Dots, bro. Dog, S-Dots, dog. <laughs> like, nigga, Freeway first album was cold. I can't believe I wore state property, man. <laughs> like, I wore anything that came out that dog, was Jay-Z. Like, I, was, <laughs> I was on it, you feel me? I listened to Young Chris and the, and the nigga, Gunners. The young nigga. Gunners was cold, bro. Young Chris still cold, bro. Memphis you, Bleak. Memphis like, Bleak, you had motherfucking Pity Crack, nigga. Like, and even with that era where like, they was signing everybody, yeah. like that's how I got hit the Twister. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Twister, then you had motherfucking Dipset was on that. That's, when, that's when motherfucking um, Jay-Z was on his way out. Yeah. You seen like, nigga, that nigga put that a nigga camera brought, on Yeah, up. but he was on... Like like you said, Dame was on some bullshit. Yeah, cause Dame could nigga, he's smart, but he was just doing some dumb shit. Like. I mean, some of his shit though was ahead of his time. Like being able to have a label, yeah. sign some other people that had their own label to y'all yeah. label. Like that was ahead yeah. of his time. Cause yeah. like, look at what Maybach Music did. You yeah. signed Meek, and then he got Dream Chasers. Like it's, yeah. it was ahead of his time. And that's he was why just I on say some the only person shit. like as far as artists, I think that I trust to sign with is Rick Ross. Cause I think he put so much into his motherfucking artists that a lot of people still be. A artist they self and they try right. to motherfucking put their shit into they self like young money i mean drake and nikki is big they self you ain't gotta put too much into them like they right. are they a big brand they self so as far as like looking at niggas who got their labels rick ross probably like the best at doing that shit and yeah. supporting you yeah and but i mean i just say like far as other signing to other artists mm. you would have to see like really what they own yeah hell yeah because some of them like they might want to help you but they might not have the control exactly. that you thought that they had and that's why you be thinking niggas be thinking rick ross could pull the trigger but at the end of the day while and meet mill signed to atlantic right you get what i'm saying <laughs> yeah. but he really he he just more so gave them that stamp of yeah. i fuck with this person now let's walk you into these buildings and get you what you wanted yeah, yeah, yeah. which now i would i would take something like that i wouldn't take like a you sign straight to me. Oh yeah, hell yeah. So you ain't no ain't no three sixty deals for you. No. <laughs> it was the last thing like could we got three sixty deal, come on. Like I must have been like I must got a real big ass case going on. <laughs> hell yeah. So um I meant to ask you this earlier, like let's say if it was, you been locked up before? Yeah, it wasn't even like no No big thing. No, not not no large stint, but like it's one thing to be locked up and like you got support. Yeah. It's another thing to be locked up in a whole nother state. Man, I bet, bro. <laughs> I remember riding through this Coming to Detroit And they brought to like Arkansas Like damn Right I hope nothing go down on this bitch exactly. Cause these things gonna hang My dumb ass Like right. So it, it just Cause even then Like alright So say you You been staying here For a minute yeah. So say right now You get locked up yeah. You might go in that bitch And bump it to a nigga That you knew from high school yeah. And he might know your people That know your people yeah. Nigga I get locked up <laughs> I gotta wait And hope that I can Somebody cool enough to be like, bro, let me use the money you got on your phone so I can call somebody and tell them I'm in this bitch. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, all that shit really, I ain't gonna say it, it, it kind of traumatized me, but it was more so like a, damn, this is what we niggas really be going through. Man, hell yeah. So, with, you know what I'm saying, 2020, you know what I'm saying, we still got three fourths of the, of, the, of the year left. Like, what you trying to go ahead and, and um, expand on as far as like your music or whatever? I saw you say you was gonna start a podcast too on your yeah. shit. Like, you still trying to do that too? Hell yeah. So, as soon as I can find like the, the right. Set up Because yeah. like My thing is Like I love podcasts And yeah. I love the podcasting game yeah. It's just more so like Far as the podcasts That's our That are local Yeah I wish that like Like how you guys Doing it with the With the camera And the visuals yeah. I, it, To me it gotta make sense Yeah, yeah for sure Because again like 
the main thing is keeping your face in front of these other people, and like yeah, that's yeah. what that's gonna keep bringing people back or adding people. I'm fucking y'all niggas up, cause so <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> go ahead. So like that, that, that's what I'm looking for, and that's why yeah. I said like I'm really trying to build a team. So would your shit be like um, topic based, or would you like bring people on? Like how would you do it? It'd be it'd be a little bit of both. Yeah. Like um, what I really wanted to do was like you know how everybody got the YouTube channel. Okay. I really wanted to start a whole channel like Overtime off your channel. Yeah. So it ain't just me. I want to help other people that were scared to start a podcast with shit. I'm going to go ahead and back it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So that that way I can still focus on my music with shit. You got this other season of whatever the name of the show is yeah. going on. Yeah, yeah. So some type of way you still generating views, right. maybe whatever. Right. Hell yeah. Okay, okay. And um as far as like uh Yo, 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 2020, like, as far as the music shit, like, what's that? What you trying I'm to flooding. Okay, so you got um, more shit coming out? Yes. Like, I'm recording nonstop. Like, nigga, it might be 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Nigga, my <laughs> daughter might be asleep. I'm pulling up the granddad crib, <laughs> going straight to the garage and going stupid. Hell yeah. All right, man, well, we, are, we all know we going through the corona shit. Coronavirus, nigga, scared Word. shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas probably looking at us like, why we doing podcasts? But, nigga, hey, we still got to live our life. Got to. So, if uh, you was restricted... To five albums during this Corona crisis, <sighs> what would your five albums be like that you gotta listen to for your, for your fourteen day quarantine? Like, <laughs> fourteen days, shit. <laughs> While you thinking on that, I, I throw something out there. Yeah, I, go ahead. I, um, uh, Carter one. Mm. That's my that's my shit, dog. Uh, the documentary, the first one, the game. Mm. Um, uh, Tupac, all eyes on me. That's my favorite Tupac album. That's ill. Uh huh. We said that shit, Nipsey Crenshaw. Mm. And yeah. then if I want to go some R and B shit, you gotta at least have one R and B. I hope you ain't quarantined yeah. by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is depression. Some castaway shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go with uh, that music soul child album mm. when he had like uh, damn, what was that shit? Whatever that shit was. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, I know what you're talking <laughs> yeah. about. Like music soul child, there's no like I, I wanna I, say that's the name of the album. I know, just it's some just music or some music yeah. or something. Yeah, that that's my nigga though. Like Music Soul Child is slept on, bro. Like my girl like Music Soul Child, so we quarantining together. <laughs> we getting hardcore rap in. We get some knowledge from Nip yeah. and Tupac. And then shit gotta get in with the motherfucker. Well shit, I'll say like my five all right, first of all, let me explain why some of them wouldn't be on mine. Okay. Like, the Tupac, I'm going to be mad as a motherfucker. That, like, Tupac bring out that emotion, like, <laughs> and he already be talking about, like, what the government be doing and shit. Like, no. you're going to be mad as fuck when you come out the crib. Yeah, true, true. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> when you finally get out the 14th. When you finally get out that motherfucker, then you going to be swole as hell and mad. Nigga, like, you need to push up to this shit the whole time. <laughs> so, like, that's the reason why I wouldn't put Tupac in my shit. Like, even though I fuck with Pac heavy, I grew up on Pac a lot. Yeah. But, like, I'm more of, like, current. That's why it's hard for me to pick five. Because, yeah. like, I listen to so much music. Like, yeah. this is all I do. I, I consume mean, music at you all got the to, time. When you doing music, you got to listen to a lot of music. Yeah. So, like, right now, I'll just say, like, the shit I've been listening to. Because I feel like if I was, for, literally, because this might happen. Yeah. Be stuck okay. in a career for 14 days. This is probably majority of what I'll be listening to. I definitely would be bumping Ride Wave. Ride I like him. Um, that PTSD joint. Yeah. Uh, that Lil Baby, My Turn. Okay. Um... I'll probably go back like I always go back to old future mixtapes and I know like a lot of people like they they just hip to like the newer future shit yeah, but yeah, I'll yeah. be back like listening to True Story which okay. is like one of his early joints okay um I definitely will be listening to that new which I just started like really dissecting that Jay Electronica and Jay Z joint yeah I just started listening to that that shit hard yeah I gotta get on that shit um and then my fifth one like far as like you know it's, it's, some, like, it's something on there for everybody yeah so I probably will be bumping um a Boogie. Okay, yeah, new, the new one? Yeah. Yeah, that shit's straight, yeah. I like A Boogie, though. I had to, it took me a while to get used to him, but he's straight. Yeah. Like, sometimes it took me a while, like, because I be so, listening to old shit, I gotta be like, dog, you gotta listen to this new shit, too. Like, yeah. get a little balance of both of them. And, and I, I would have to have, a, like, a sub, though, like, because I don't know if you know about him, but, like, it's an artist that's here in Detroit, yeah. Samuel Shabazz. Sam, Samuel Shabazz? Yeah. I'm about to get hip to Anything him. that nigga drop. I'm listening to yeah. I ain't even gonna hold you up And like I ain't gonna lie When I first moved up here I was hard on Detroit artists yeah. Cause like I felt like Everybody sounded this, Like the exact I mean, same sometimes. <laughs> But this nigga Don't sound nothing Like nobody up here You know what yeah, I'm saying I get hip to him then So shit We still in the corona Shit what's, they, they, they lock you down dog 
what you gotta have, your top five things you gotta have in the crib. In the crib. Cause we, I just got stolen shit from uh, motherfucking uh, Petey Green shit. My shit was, uh, I ain't gonna say water cause I feel you get the water from the faucet. Okay. And you can boil that bitch. Okay. So I'm gonna say food, Wi Fi, uh, medicine. Um, damn, what my other shit? Medicine, uh, Wi Fi, food. Uh, cleaning supplies because you gotta have deodorant and shit. Like, you can't yeah. be the cribs thinking this shit. Hell no. <laughs> and then my fifth one was, oh, I forgot, like a motherfucker. I want to say like the game system or some shit. Oh, like. you, you need that. All right. Oh, shit. Yeah, so yeah, your top five uh, Corona items, dog. Oh, shit. Of course, you gotta have the, the cleaning shit. Yeah. Um, I gotta have my snacks. Like, <laughs> yeah. On Swan shit. Like, and I don't even be eating like, like, no, that's that's why I say me and my girl getting fat with this Corona shit. Nigga, I done been getting fat. <laughs> we done been ice cream, shit. nigga, cookies. I need I need some ice cream. <laughs> I need some pop tarts, man. <laughs> like for real. So I need I gotta have my snacks. Yeah. I gotta have a game system because even if I ain't playing the game, yeah. I got then I gotta be watching Netflix yeah, or yeah. something. You gotta be on that, yeah, well, yeah. And other than that, uh, well shit, that was three and four. I gotta have some type of way to listen to music. Yeah. If not. I don't be one cranky ass nigga Yo, brand, like, For real though You gotta have that shit on deck though Hell yeah Cause even sometimes shit Your girl be on some Bullshit. Whatever nigga yeah, You yeah. gotta be able to Zone out Pop them bitches in <laughs> Hell shit, yeah You be on a whole nother world yeah, I was telling these things earlier Like dog I got uh, my girl I got my son who's 13 My son is 3 So nigga I, could, I gotta have all of them in the house So I can be like No I don't fat fuck with you right. I'm gonna talk to my son I don't like fuck with you Let me talk to the baby boy Like <laughs> On some yeah. shit Like Cause if you didn't Be by yourself Like you gotta get boring Like nigga I'm, yeah. I'm corona out Like nigga <laughs> Shit And my fifth one Shit I just say mm, Shit I got my snacks Game Music Shit I would just say I, I would have to have a way To like Communicate with others Oh yeah So you gotta get that Wi-Fi on there Yeah got to Hell yeah FaceTime the motherfuckers Or like y'all I gotta get the landline Going to something <laughs> You feel me <laughs> I gotta be like, hey, mom, y'all straight. <laughs> hey, for real. Yeah, yeah. But, dog, that shit, I, uh, I was talking, we was talking about this shit earlier. Like, for niggas who trying to experience some new pussy, dog, it's gonna be hard times right now. Because, nigga, nigga, a motherfucking chick might not even trust you to come over and might think you got that, that good so, wrong. Yeah, we need to just practice social distance. <laughs> Hell yeah, nigga. You know, FaceTime a lot. And that's the perfect way to, like, play a nigga right now. <laughs> Yeah. You know we doing social distance. We gonna we gonna chop it up when it's over. No, like, I had that meme with baby. I mean, not baby. Uh, Boosie was like, show me that pussy. I'll give you a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> like niggas gonna be in business. Like damn, I'm by myself, cuz. Real. Keisha, you want Facetime real quick? I know that the, the porn stock is going through the roof. Duh, dog. niggas on porn. We just said shit. Going Down, stupid. Nigga, niggas worry about the motherfucking power going out. Download porn on their motherfucking phone and that shit. That and like. The girls that was on that premium fan only shit, they was ahead of the game. Yeah. We ain't know he was about to be in the crib like this, nigga. Though yeah. <laughs> that shit, this this shit got you fucked up, like. And I was gonna ask you, like, uh, like, do this shit kind of like fuck with you in a way, like you'd be like, damn, I gotta like start thinking of shit or being prepared for sh if something like that this happened, cause niggas wasn't prepared for being on lockdown for you no know, fucking, you know, what I'm saying however many months or weeks they got you on lockdown, like. Shit, now, now, yeah, I'm thinking about that type of stuff. Yeah, because you want to think about that shit before. And like, Hell no. Nah. And nigga got to have a whole bunch of water and fucking canned goods. Hell no, nah, but I always needed my snacks, though. So, <laughs> shit, we, we had to stay loaded with something. Got them off a chip of Hoyas on deck Hell and shit, Hell yeah, no Pop-Tarts. Got to be there. Nigga, what, what kind, though? Like, the I'm, strawberry. I'm nigga, a classic ass yeah. nigga. Don't, don't bring me no new shit. Nigga, like, my son, nigga, be getting them off a s'mores one. No, like, throw them shits in the trash, <laughs> bro. Yeah. That strawberry boy be on deck, Every bro. time. So, nigga, I was um I watch this other... I don't know if it's a podcast, but it was like a clip. It was something about a chick who said she can't handle no nigga with a nine to five. She gotta have quick money, like. And then I was going. The question I got out of that is like, dog, do sometimes niggas be worried about making fast money to please a bitch and and be like, dog, if I tell this this, this girl my nine to five, she might not fuck with me. Like, Shit, I time? went I went through that at one point in my life where it's like. I ain't even want to tell nobody why I worked up. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Shit, niggas working at fast food joints, whatever. Mm -hmm. But then it's like, shit, if she don't want to fuck with me because I got a job, nigga, you just don't <laughs> like me, motherfucker. Like, it ain't about my money. Hell yeah. Because shit, if you know me, you know I'm always going to keep something. For sure. You know Hell what I'm yeah. saying? Shit, but at the same time, I can't really fuck with no shorty that's like, they want you for your fast money. Hell yeah. Because that ain't me. Like, you, you know, know what I'm saying? Even if that is you, that shit run out, you know that. 
she when it's a drought, she gone. Hell yeah. So I can't even fuck with that. And that means she probably ain't got no business about herself. Hell no. Nah. Shit, so, and that's, and that's one of my main things. Like, shorty gotta have something going on. Dog, that's why I say my girl, she a uh, pre-K teacher, but we was like, just doing this shit. Like, dog, we gotta be on lockdown. Let's like, think of some shit that we can do, dog. Yeah. Like, for the next however many days we gotta be in this bitch, like, and the movie's closed, and everything closed, like, let's figure out some shit. So then we come out this bitch, like, Nigga, we got some shit going. Right. Or some shit started. Because if you just in, this, just in this bitch being lazy, sleeping. You're going to be fat as hell. Motherfucking watching, uh, fucking loving hip hop. <laughs> fat, fat and illiterate as hell when you come back out the crib. <laughs> no shots to nobody and shit. Nah, fuck looking. that. All shots. That show, that show will fucking nigga head up. Dog. Now, speaking of that show. Everybody, you watch Making the Band growing up? Hell yeah. Making the Band, dog. They coming back. If you got it, no, I'm about to say, if you can make your own band, including you mm. and three other people, who would your bandmates be? Like these celebs or just people around? Rappers. Oh, okay. Rappers, singers, whatever. Who going to make your perfect band with you and three other people? Shit. I'm taking... All right, this nigga know how to make a hit, so I'm going to put Drake in that motherfucker for sure. <laughs> All right. That's anything that nigga touch. He got the Midas touch. So. <laughs> and shit. I, I gotta say for real. All right, yeah, he on the beats and everything. That shit gonna be a Hell through yeah. the roof. Hell yeah, eighty times platinum. <laughs> My shit was uh, who else? Who your last one? It's four of y'all. I was four of us. So it's you, for real, Drake, and shit. You gotta get a chick in that mud. Uh, I don't know. Them, <laughs> them chicks be like hit or miss. Hell yeah. My shit is a uh, her. No, her where okay, you think R and B singers. Oh, yeah. I got I got a crush on her. So she have to be Tiana Taylor will have to be in that motherfucker. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck with ass and abs. <laughs> I, I liked her when she was trying to be a mix bike singer. Yeah, yeah, I ain't yeah. care. Yeah, yeah. So she my got shit, the Tony Tony Braxton voice. Yeah, my should be her. My should be me, of course, T Pain. Mm. Kind of nigga on the hooks and shit. Every time I ain't gotta worry about no hooks But see I'm the T-Pain of our group Nigga I'll make yeah. a hit Like so a mother Me, her, T-Pain And then as my other rapper dog This shit be Currency Ooh Okay Just, just like nigga hit on some, on some We getting blow Yeah you definitely gonna be getting blow <laughs> Yeah T-Pain on all the hooks Her on the hooks Like nigga Like that's, that'd, be, that'd be my Yeah that'd be you my would shit. have every lane on lock Hell yeah, dog. So like, uh, and then this is another thing. Like, while we on the tops, give me your um, if you got one, top five rap names. Mm. Now while you think about that shit, cause I know I ain't taking shit earlier. <laughs> my shit as far as rap names, I think number one be Tupac, just because that was his real name. Yeah, that's niggas, hard. Niggas probably thought that was his fucking artist name, but not knowing that's nigga, that's my government. Like, right. So Tupac, um, Easy E. Mm. Uh. Master P, cause you gotta think like nigga Master P. That nigga sound like a slave yeah, master. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, <dude>, master. <laughs> and they, this is like together. These two are together. Ice Cube and Ice T. Mm. Like nigga, that's that was some. I would like, love to know who came up with them shit. Duh, for real. And then my other one to be, for, um, damn, who would be the other one? Duh, like a unique ass name. Duh. Mm -hmm. The only thing I could think of is probably like. Wu Tang as a group. Oh, okay, yeah. Wu Tang as a group, just cause that's off the dome, like just cause like nigga Wu Tang, like come on now, like. But shit, how many was it? Five. They were five. Yeah, if you could name five or just. Man, first would have to be Old Dirty Bastard. <laughs> Hell yeah. Like that's a ill ass name. That bro. is dope, though. Damn, man, I ain't he about like that one. you ain't even gotta see him. You know he coming you know, on. You know he grimy, like. like man, he look like his name, <laughs> bro. That, yeah. Shout out R. I. P. You know what I'm saying? For real, yeah. Then, uh, far as creative wise, I ain't gonna lie, I don't fuck with his music. Never fucked with his music before. Okay. Flow Rider. Yeah. When I found out that shit spelled Florida, yeah. fuck my head up. <laughs> 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 fuck my head all the way up. Hell yeah. Uh, shit. Let me see. Same thing with, uh, Man, yeah, you got to do it that's a good one. Hell yeah, nigga, shit, I, I be crushing niggas sometimes. That's a good one. <laughs> but them two right there, them bitches stuck yeah, out. Yeah, Florida, oh, yeah, Florida, and motherfucker. Who you say, uh, old dirty bastard? Old dirty yeah, bastard. Sure. And then, then I just thought about somebody. Uh, I say Chance the Rapper too. Yeah, yeah. Because at yeah, first yeah. you hear the name, you like this nigga about to be corny as hell. Hell yeah. For when real. I first heard his music, I, that shit grasped my attention. I mean, shit, wasn't that kind of um a unique type of name? Uh, Wiz Khalifa, like. Yeah, you're right, Wiz Khalifa. Because I ain't know what. And then to find out that like Khalifa is part of the weed, mm -hmm. shit fucked my head up too. Yeah, you right. That's so what we had. Four chance to rapper, flow rider, old dirty basket, Wiz Khalifa. Yep. 
And then I'm gonna have to go with Nip again. Yeah. That was one of the coolest. Cause yeah, like Nipsey Hustle. Like, yeah, cause like you, yeah, that shit just fucked my head up. And then to find out like when you listen to his music, everything was about hustling. Hell but yeah. the legit way though, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, cause he 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 was in the, he was in the streets, but he he gave you that legit type of hustle too yeah. that you can do, dog. Now this well, this is all for that shit. But do you uh you been with you been with chicks and stuff? Do your um do you feel you need to live with a chick before you commit be think about marriage? Ooh. Because my thing, I say that to say this, like that's why niggas would be like, or or females, but like, I ain't fucking till I get married. Nigga, what that pussy trash? Mm. Or what you feel like that motherfucker? Like we said, little dicky. What she got that motherfucker? <laughs> the ball, the ball, nigga. Same color as her joint. <laughs> like yeah, like she might not be rocking with you or something. Like I feel like, uh, yeah, I kind of feel like we we would have to like live together or something. Cause you gotta know somebody habits, bro. Like yeah. I been, gotta know that like you gonna cook clean. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying And you definitely gotta see what, You gotta test dry the whip Dog you got to Cause you don't wanna be like I do and then You get that pussy Like Man, I don't Trash like. <laughs> like no you did not <laughs> Motherfucker Desert Storm in that motherfucker bro shit terrible Dog but yeah that shit Like you got to dog Like you can't go back In the old days And then like Nigga I gotta test dry that shit And see how you is But like, at, you the say, a- at the age We at though like I feel like to be in a serious, if y'all in a serious relationship, mm-hmm. y'all low key gotta stay together. Or yeah. it's damn near like a, I'm always over here anyway type shit. Hell like, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, if, yeah. if I ain't, you can't say you in a serious relationship, you ain't never been to her crib. Hell no. Like, or you ain't never really stayed the night, nigga. She ain't got you no toothbrush and t- tiles and shit that's yours in that motherfucker. Like, nigga, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I told a story like, on early episodes, dog. Was, um, there's one chick dog I was messing with, dog. And uh, I went over her house one day. Yeah. I had to piss on this bitch. I had to piss. <laughs> I went upstairs and the piss. You're like, don't turn the light on. Our lights don't work. I'm like, what? Your what? Lights don't work. So, of course, I got the iPhone. got the camera and shit. So, I'm, I piss. <laughs> I got to go ahead and look and see what, what the right. fucking uh, 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 faucet at. Wash my hands. I mean, that bitch, dog. As soon as I put that light on, nigga, roaches all over Ooh. the place, Yeah, it's time to go. Duh. Shit, I'd have been into a chick crib. Like, <laughs> now, now, this shit fucked me up. <laughs> all right, we in that bitch chilling. We in the living room. So the same thing, I got a piss. Yeah. I go to the like on my way to the bathroom. Yeah. Now you know how sometimes you going down the hallway and you can look back and see the the bedroom. Yeah. I'm looking back, it's her kids' room, but it ain't no window. Yeah. Like literally, it's just a hole in the wall. <laughs> you feel me? Now this your kids' room. Like if it just had to be like this, why wouldn't that be your, your room? room? So you could, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, her kids is playing in this hole and it's dark. Yeah. Well, first I thought I was stripping. We might have been blowed. <laughs> so I go into the bathroom. I use the bathroom. I go to the sink. Yeah. It's leaves and dirt and shit in the sink. Duh. Like how, bro? <laughs> so Duh, you I never- come out of there and I came out the crib. Like it was time to go after that. First of all, I don't even feel safe no more. You yeah, don't have no. a window <laughs> in your mouth. You feel me? Like Duh, the nigga literally just it's funny you say come shit, in there. I remember my mom and pops had a studio. No, a one bedroom apartment, nigga. Mm-hmm. I had that one bedroom, nigga. Like, yeah. they slept in the motherfucking living room. Yeah, you nigga. try to put your baby in the safest yeah. environment possible, even if y'all struggling. You yeah. feel me? Yeah, you don't want your kids to really know that shit because as a little nigga, like, I didn't know we were struggling until I got older and understood. Even if they know that, I want you at least to be safe. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Like, yeah. it ain't nothing for a nigga to reach in the window and grab one of the little niggas and dip. <laughs> motherfucking house catch on fire ain't that motherfucking <laughs> no, no out of gas motherfucking yeah, window room, like, man. And shit. then shit, kids got, like, their immune systems ain't all that, so shit with no window in the winter time. <laughs> oh, yeah. They sniffling like a motherfucker. Dog, you silly as hell. Hey, cuz, uh, real quick though, I, 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 I did forget, I forgot to ask this shit. Like, what's the first CD you bought with your own money? Ooh. All right, CD or tape? All right, tape. Oh, I do both. All right, bet. First tape I ever bought was Usher, My Way. Nigga, that's, dude, I swear to God, my mama. On my mom, dog. That's the first CD I bought. That's, Bro, the, that's, first the, tape. that's the first cassette I bought. Nigga, my mom, my, like I said, my nigga. grandma used to work at Ogus. She get paid and come home with golden dollars to give to the kids. Duh. She gave me five of them bitches. I took it and bought my way Duh. from the goddamn liquor store. That shit funny as hell. I bought that shit with a cassette. That was my first cassette I bought. Yes. Nigga, I swear to and God, I played dog. that bitch and out. My, my uncle Junior crib, nigga, he stayed over there by Denby, dog. A bootleg, a bootleg store, and nigga, I bought that Usher shit, nigga. That's the first songs I was learning, nigga. What? Yeah, I knew the bitches front. Back, the dance moves and my drop top, nigga. You like. feel me? And my way was my shit, nigga. Uh, was that one shit like, um, um, damn, when he was talking about the bitch who kind of remind me, you you remind me of yeah, a girl, yeah, that was yeah. later on. But yeah. my way was that goddamn, it's seven o'clock on the dot, I'm in the drop top <laughs> cruising the streets. That's like, the first thing you remember, yes, nigga, that like, I didn't even know what the fuck that meant, Hell yeah, but nigga. I was singing the shit out of it. Mm-hmm. And then my first CD I ever bought with my own money again, this is when I got older, so like. 
my mom was buying all the shit and yeah. she definitely was like we ain't getting this we ain't getting that <laughs> but like it was a mix cd yeah. when we first moved to georgia uh i guess up here y'all would call them like swap meets yeah we went to the discount mall that's what we call them the a okay and i bought a mix a mix cd yeah and that's the first time i ever heard nelly yeah and it was country grammar and it was uh do you want to go and take a ride with yeah, me? Yeah. No, I was hooked. Duh, that it was cold. Him, what's it was cold as fuck too, but that nigga had no Murphy Lee. Murphy Lee, yeah. Murphy what Lee. What's gonna be, nigga? That shit was I bad. used to love Murphy Lee CD though. Like, dog, oh. dog was on the song. But yeah, I heard Nelly that first time, and I first time I heard the um, Lil John and the East Side Boys, uh, yeah. I like them girls. Yeah. And that I was hooked from there on out. I think the first album I bought my own money that I can remember was uh, Lil Wayne Lights Out. Mm. And then, like I said, first tape was fucking Usher, dog. Yeah. That shit crazy as fuck, dog. Like, you know I know man? niggas that's what well, I that was born later on in life. Yeah. Don't know what the fuck we talking about <laughs> with tapes. <laughs> nigga, my CD man, I remember he. I don't know if he's still locked up, but that nigga used to be doing like six for twenty. <laughs> nigga, me and my mom get three and three. Nigga, I get her ten on that bitch. <laughs> she get three. I remember that's when I first listened to uh, Shanti. God yeah. damn, Shanti bad. Bad. Like, nigga. Sideburns yeah. and all. Dog. She bought that Shanti album. Like, that shit was cold, bro. I got my three albums and shit. That's why I knew my man was the truth, cause. He got me Easy E first album. Like, nigga, you a true fight. Like, you yeah. a real bootleg man, nigga. Like, come to find out he was selling drugs out that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that motherfucker went He to thought it. he was just selling music. Oh, man, nigga. Then they got trouble for selling music and motherfucking drugs. That nigga was on bear share going stupid. Hell, fuck yeah, dog. <laughs> so, uh, shit, we do this thing, nigga, towards the end called Top 3, dog. Okay. So, give me your, uh, your top three rappers ever. Uh, shit. It gotta be Jay. All right. Uh... I'm gonna say J, and that that it don't matter dead or alive, right? Mm -hmm. Shit, of course I'm gonna I'm gonna go J, Biggie, okay, and just on some 100 shit. And this is more like a how niggas don't like LeBron, yeah. but <laughs> like what he do, you gotta respect it. Yeah. I'm gonna have to throw Drake in there at this point. Yeah, hell yeah. Cause okay. like what he do is next that. level. Give me your uh, your top three singers. Singers? Oh man, this shit gonna be controversial as hell. <laughs> Cause the shit I grew up on, like, yeah. like, this just R and B that always stuck with me. I don't give a fuck what the nigga did in his personal life. Oh, I don't know what you about to say. R. Kelly was that yeah. nigga growing up. You can't, you can't take him off your list, dog. You can't, like, at some point, he he marked, he stamped something in your life. Hell yeah. And like, for nigga, me, it was get... the Space Jam. Like, nigga, you turn on Space Jam, and believe, <laughs> I, I believe I, believe I, I can fly. fly. I actually yeah. jumped off some shit and thought I could fly because of the song. Nigga, I, it, hell yeah, because nigga, when we be like sixty and seventy and fifty, whatever, that's gonna be like the nigga that you look back on, like how our moms looked up to, like Teddy Pendergrass and shit right. like that, Luther. Like that's our person, like right. the only person basically. Yeah, his personal life was fucked up though. <laughs> so you got R. Kelly. I got R. Kelly. Um, far as singing. Shit, I'm gonna have to go R. Kelly. Um, and far as singing, because I seen this person sing in person, yeah. and like I couldn't believe the shit that was coming out of her mouth. Yeah. Fantasia. Yeah, Fantasia, hell yeah. She can sing like a motherfucker. Yeah, she can sing like a Her mama can sing too. Yeah. Um, she so, from Atlanta? No, they from North Carolina, but. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. Or, yeah, something like that. Okay. But they, they used to come to our church. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I done heard her sing in person and was amazed. Hell yeah. And was like, damn, she bad. And she was singing like a motherfucker. Yeah, Hell she, yeah. She probably got a little thumper back there too. Douchey. <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> but yeah, uh, R. Kelly, Fantasia, and I'm gonna go Jennifer Hudson. All right, you you from Detroit? You stay in Atlanta for a long time. Your top three rappers in Detroit, and your top three rappers in Atlanta. All right, my top three rappers in Detroit. I'm gonna go Big Sean. Okay. Uh, Big Sean. I fuck with T Grizzly for sure. Okay, he just has some new shit come out today. Yeah, he goes stupid, yeah. and I gotta put Sada on there just just off the respect to like, yeah. Broden came a long way. Hell yeah. And I don't care what he dropped, the nigga be doing his he do his yeah, thing, sure. and he didn't change the whole scene of Detroit up. All right, top three Atlanta. That's hard. Shit. That's hard as hell. <laughs> That's hard as hell. Like when it, when you speak of Atlanta, like you can't even just go bars. Yeah. Cause like some shit, it ain't even about the bars. It's about how it made you feel or like that moment in your life. Like For you sure. was like, oh shit. Cause like I said, I done heard Future in the club and like the whole club turned into some other shit. Hell like yeah. so, I my top three might be disrespectful, but shit, <laughs> I I want the people. Like I said I go off of vibes. So like so, Future is in my top three. I know niggas might not like that shit, but fuck it. <laughs> uh. I mean, I mean, this ain't in no order though. I fuck, I fuck with Future. Okay. Uh, and like I said, I ain't trying to be politically correct. So like, of course, Jeezy and them is legends, but like, 
the shit these niggas done did and how they didn't change the game. I'm gonna go future. Yeah. Thug. Okay. And uh my third. I got I gotta put three stacks in there though. Hell yeah. Cause hell that's that's yeah. like put a legend that bitch. Hell yeah. And if hell somebody yeah. asks me like yeah, I'm gonna shoot you right now unless you <laughs> recite this verse. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. pull out the walk it out remix verse. Yo, I'm gonna make it so fast. Song, <laughs> All right, give me your top three uh, foods. Oh, shit. It's All quarantine right. time. What's your top three? You feel me? I need some chicken Alfredo. Nigga, I throw some shrimp in that bitch too. Yeah, that be the one. <laughs> uh, chicken Alfredo or shrimp Alfredo. Uh, I'm gonna go pizza. Hell yeah, I fuck with pizza. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck with pizza for sure. And then. Damn, that's all a nigga really eat this shit. <laughs> or good ass tacos though. Hell yeah, some good tacos. That ta- Taco Bell fell off. I think Taco Bell fell off because nigga they got too much shit in their motherfucking meat. Man, they be trying to do shit that ain't supposed to be at Taco Hell Bell. Yeah. I don't want a waffle taco, bitch. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, dude, give me your top three uh movies and TV shows. Alright, so my f- top three movies would be Bad Boys. Yeah. The first one. Hell yeah. My nigga last shit. <laughs> uh Paid in Full. Alright. And I love Paying Full. Hell yeah And my third one um, I like mafia movies But this one wasn't so so much serious like yeah. Casino a Casino yeah. Okay cool I ain't watched motherfucker What's until I got old as fuck um, What's that shit called Scarface like, Scarface Oh yeah that, You had to get older Cause like yeah. When you was younger You ain't had a attention span To yeah, sit for three this hours nigga, This nigga was like Nigga like You can't be the rapper If you never seen Scarface Like <laughs> <laughs> You had to watch it though Alright dog Like I said earlier dog Give me your uh Yo, uh, drunk moment, high moment, dog, or both, like a fucked up situation that was that was funny, dog. When you was fucked, it's not you got fucked up a couple of times back. I in got school. fucked up a lot. <laughs> like he was a young nigga getting kicked out of school for drinking. Like a, but motherfuckers gotta understand, though. I went to school when I went when I went to college. My first day of college, I turned eighteen. All right. So, so I was just on some straight dumb shit. Hell yeah. But I give you two moments. The first one was this drunk moment. Um, we. I had just got off of probation in Atlanta, so like, for for the underage drinking shit, literally yeah. just paid them all their money, <laughs> all this shit. Yeah. What I do? Be more stupid, <laughs> nigga. I went back and drunk some more. Yeah. So like, yeah, we drinking and we get flicked. Now my homeboy was following us. Only reason I ain't ride with him is because he was with his girl. Yeah. I rode with my other homeboy who came by himself. Okay. And this was in Gwinnett County. If you ever been to Atlanta or go to Georgia, yeah. stay the fuck out of Gwinnett. <laughs> but uh, my man, I ride with him and I'm and before I, something told me, asked me before I got in the car. Yeah. Like, yo, L's and shit good, right? Like, this bitch got insurance, all that shit, right? <laughs> he said, yeah. Yeah. Fucking lied. <laughs> we got flicked. Not even probably like Five miles away from where the fuck we was at. Yeah. And mind you, I'm probably like 18, 19. Okay. And like, literally, then we get flicked. I'm scared as hell. <laughs> and literally, I just got off probation. Duh. Today. And you feel me? Like, <laughs> we were celebrating that I just got off probation. Duh. So, I'm still like, oh shit, I'm good. I'm off probation. So, shit, what's right. the worst that could happen? Yeah. These niggas come. And like I said, in Gwinnett, if you've been in Gwinnett, you know, like, these these officers is on some straight racist shit. Yeah, hell yeah. And these niggas kind of automatically <laughs> surround the car. Yeah. And niggas surround the car. He come to the passenger side. Mind you, nigga, I'm not driving. This is not my car. So, when you ran this plate, you knew this shit ain't had nothing to do with me. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you even at my window? Hell yeah. But this nigga come to the window. Even like when we first, like when they initially hit the lights, I asked them again, "You straight, right?" <laughs> like hell yeah, I'm good, nigga. We we straight. And this nigga older than me, so I'm thinking, all right, he he got it under control. Yeah. <laughs> they shine the light in the whip. They see a cup, which was my cup. Yeah. The shit was in the the um, cup holder. Okay. The shit had liquor in it. Yeah. My man's is over 21. He like, no, nah, this mine, but I ain't drink it. Yeah. Like I ain't drink it yet. I just was taking it with me. Yeah. Shit, he like, I can pour it out if y'all just give me a chance to pour this shit out. Y'all can breathalyze me, whatever. I ain't drunk. Yeah. Nigga like, well, yeah, go ahead and pour it out. But uh, it don't look like it's yours. It look like it's his. <laughs> I don't know what on my face showed that I was drunk. <laughs> or like I was nervous and sweating. I don't know what the fuck made them think that it was mine. So like, niggas automatically put the shit on me. My homeboy's vouching like, bro, no, I, I'm 21. I'm able to drink. You can breathalyze me. I have drinks, but I'm good. <laughs> They ain't even fucking with him. They ain't like, no, him. It's, it's his shit. So, like, when they take us all out the car, 
Now my homeboy that was riding behind us pull up and they just kind of just sitting back there yeah. just in case anything pop off. Yeah, waiting and shit. Yeah. Now mind you, I'm drunk as shit though. Like I ain't stumbling or nothing, but I'm drunk where I know I'm buzzed. <laughs> but before they take us off the car, some bullshit happened. Motherfucking officer flashed his flashlight. Now I don't know if he dropped this shit in here or if this was really him dog car or not. It ain't my car. Yeah. It's a tail on the door. Yeah. And like Georgia is not like Michigan. Yeah. Like even now. We got dispensaries up here on every corner. Yeah, if you sure. go to Georgia and get busted with weed, you, they treat that shit like it's crack. Hell yeah. So these niggas found the tail. was like, I told you it was him. <laughs> I knew he was, he drunk and high. I'm like, bro, this shit is not mine. I looked dead at this nigga like, bro, I thought you said you was good. <laughs> so bad. shit, they pulled me out the car and nigga, we out there so long. I'm like, bro, I got to piss. Yeah. Now, this is this is the even more fucked up part. And I ain't never told this shit. Never going to tell it again. <laughs> But these niggas held us out there so long, and, and I think they did it on purpose. Like, go ahead and piss on yourself. Yeah. They wouldn't let me go use the bathroom. Damn. None of that shit. So I end up having to piss on myself. Yeah. Fuck. And I'm, you know, I'm but this is what I'm telling y'all. This ain't no regular police stop, nigga. Like, we in, the, we in Georgia. Yeah. These niggas basically guns drawn type shit. Damn. And, and they all on my ass. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Happy. Like, I don't know what the fuck made them niggas be like the little nigga. <laughs> We on his ass, bro. <laughs> and my homeboys, they make the shit no better, bro. Like, cause we, like, literally, we joke to his nonstop. Like, we don't give a damn if nigga mama died. Like, duh. nigga, she would mean to hell anyway. Like, niggas be, like, on that type of time. Yeah, so, nigga, they had jokes. and t They probably still got jokes about this shit. Duh. But, yeah, that was that was my worst drunk time ever. I, mean, I, I, got a, I got a ticket for underage drinking. The nigga made me pick. Like, you could take this underage drinking ticket, or you could take this marijuana charge. <laughs> I probably still got a warrant for this shit, nigga. I got the fuck up out of Gwinnett. Like, uh, never went back. Damn, man. But shit, that was that was my hot. I mean, that was my drunk time and my high moment. Yeah. Shit, I was at I was in college, and like, what we would do was we would pull off from campus. Yeah. But like I said, we in the middle of nowhere, so I ain't really know where to just go duck off. Yeah. Unless you go into the woods, yeah. like you could drive through the woods and really be like. This shit look like when you, Yeah, yeah <laughs> but it looked it looked like when you was uh watching Lion King and Simba got lost. Man, you remember all them goddamn bones and shit? So like Man, we literally sitting in the middle of the woods, nigga. We looking at old bones from deers and shit, nigga. We fried. Duh. We five deep in a Honda Accord. You man. feel me? Bump, I ain't gonna never forget that shit, bro. We bumping that Rick Ross and Drake. Uh tap my name on it if you know it's real. You okay, know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. like we in that bitch zoned out like damn Drake just killed this shit man <laughs> we fried <laughs> so yeah we pull off as soon as we get the fuck on the main street pulled over Duh. and I say nigga I'm like bro we all going to jail <laughs> and like out of all my friends I'm always the one that's like coherent enough to be like talking to the officers or whatever yeah. so while I'm talking though my man's just eating the weed <laughs> Mind you though, like, like I said, <laughs> niggas is terrified of the police and, and and Gwinnett. So we out two hours away from any city type shit, and we far enough towards the woods that it's just us and the police. Yeah, so that shit, whatever they do, nigga, shit, nobody knows. nobody gonna know, bro. They oh, could have yeah. beat the shit out of us, took us back to the woods, and yeah. that would have been that. Hell yeah. And we, cause we ain't from out here. Who the fuck was gonna know? Our mom would think we in class. We really <laughs> got hung out this bitch. Hell yeah. So nigga, that that happened. We pull off. They let us go. They like they just college kids, whatever. When we go down the street, man, we so fucked up that like he ain't eat all the weed. So we like, damn, bro. See, this that's how immature this, <laughs> this how immature <laughs> niggas is. Like, damn, bro, we just got away with some shit. Stop at the gas station and grab another Rello. Duh, like, right, we about duh. to celebrate. <laughs> so when we get to the motherfucking gas station, now I don't even know if this was really said or I was just blow and scared. Man. I go into the gas station and like I'm at the counter with my snacks. And I'm about to get an Orello. Yeah. Behind me is some cops and two other white people. Yeah. And then the, the person that's at the register is white. Yeah. I just hear a motherfucker say, you going to that clam eating tonight? <laughs> and I'm literally at the register, bro, about to pay for my shit. I canceled the whole transaction. <laughs> just just off the strength that I was just about to ask for Rello. She put the bitches on the counter and everything. Yeah. So I'm like, nah, you know what? I ain't going to the meeting, nigga. I slid <laughs> straight up out that bitch. Duh. I got back in the car like, nigga, fuck everything. Pull off. Yeah. My time we pulled off, I explained to these niggas. They like, 
Man, you should have still got Thriller. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, still a celebration, yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah, oh. but that was definitely like the craziest shit I ever did or seen when I was high. Because I really don't even know if that happened or I was just fried. No, but you be high. Like me, I'm a drinker, so... I ain't gonna say I'm a drinker, but I drink more than I, I smoke. Right. Nigga, if I smoke is a blue fucking moon. And when I do smoke, nigga, that shit, nigga, I get you paranoid, bro. Like, yeah. For me, I smoke probably about three times out the year on some bullshit, dog. Mm -hmm. And like, nigga, I'll be thinking for you. Like, nigga, that, damn, this nigga buddy think I'm fucked up. Right. I gotta get myself together. Like, nigga, I'll be so fucked up, I'll be paranoid. I'm thinking about and me and my girl together, like, dog, that one day she was on the phone a little long. She called that motherfucker <laughs> DM real quick. <laughs> Motherfucking crayons there, and motherfucking shot. <laughs> like that's why I don't think it's good for me to smoke, dog. Yeah. Cause I'm gonna think about the craziest shit, dog. Like my brother be getting blown before he hoop. Like nigga, how the fuck you do that? That is the best hooping session, though. Nigga, he told me that shit, nigga. I might, nigga, my legs would be too light, dog. Like hell no, nigga. You be out there think R.I.P. You be out there thinking you Kobe, <laughs> dog. Nigga, my brother, that nigga be getting blown, be fucking niggas over. I'm like, this nigga high as fuck going past niggas. Like this nigga get blown before a game, like nigga, a, a league game, like. Oh shit. Like what's wrong? with this nigga dog like nigga I don't know he on his J.R. Smith <laughs> I'm gonna try this shit one time and get blow a hoop dog I'm gonna bitch and fucking uh, tear my Achilles on some dumb yeah, shit just don't get it to no Ron Artest type shit dog that shit was funny see I remember about the, I was getting packed going to uh, D.C. and visit my auntie when that shit happened yeah these niggas that bitch blowing nigga niggas don't understand nigga how hard that nigga um, Jamel O'Neal blew my man shit out he fell into man. the punch Niggas talk about Steven Jackson Ron Artest, but then Jamel Neal fell into that bitch. Like, he that slid. Like, <laughs> like I watched, I watched that shit to this day. Duh. That was the coldest <laughs> fight, nigga. Nigga, that was the coldest punch I ever seen in Duh. my life. That nigga that, silver surfer slid Duh. into punching that nigga. That nigga fell into that bitch, nigga. Off the, off the motherfucker. <laughs> I guess it was beer on the ground, nigga. Hell yeah. Ah, slid right into that. And bitch, the fucked up part is he socked that nigga. And the nigga that got socked is the one that got banned. <laughs> Hell yeah. So you got the nastiest punch of the night, and you can't never go back. Dog, like, I think about that fight, and then I think about that New York fight when they were fighting uh, Denver. Oh, when yeah. Nigga hit that nigga and was and like, ran. Ran, nigga. That nigga, he smacked. Ah, nigga. That nigga, Nate Robinson was that bitch about to brawl with niggas. Man, niggas try to say Melo was on some whole shit, but like, if you ever really been in the brawl before, yeah, you got back You up. know you got to get the fuck on. Dog, my Cause... mom, old boyfriend, say this shit like, dog, like, he, that's the one good thing he told me I used to this day. Like, nigga, if you ever get to a fight, find a wall. Because, mm -hmm. nigga, ain't nobody behind that wall, nigga. Everybody in front of you, nigga. I done heard that before, too, but I also done seen that shit go left. <laughs> I done seen a nigga back yeah, up against the wall, wall and everybody else went against this nigga while he was against the wall. You feel me? Like, now your ass get stumped against the wall. You, <laughs> you can't run. You know what I'm saying? No, I did that shit because uh, my boy Rez, this nigga, we fell out for a month for that shit, dog. He didn't know that shit. This nigga swerving down. I left this nigga, dog. I had a Corsica. A Chevy fucking Damn. Corsica, nigga. The worst car you could have. And I was paying a car, know that bitch. A, 90, a 96 Corsica paying 180 oh, shit. Month, $180 a month, dog. So my nigga Ray, we in that bitch, dog. We had uh, uh, Burst on Broadway. I don't know if you heard that shit. Yeah. We had Burst, nigga. Me, him, my dog, uh, Weez and shit, dog. So a fight break out. Bam. I do it. And my, my mom boyfriend Earl told me to do it. Nigga, I bag up against the wall. So I'm looking at all the fights. Ain't shit come my way. So I'm like, bam, I'm good. So me and my nigga Weez walk out. I'm like, that way nigga Reg I'm like, I don't know, he might be at the car. We parked far away. Yeah. We parking by St. Andrews. So I go to my car, nigga. I'm waiting for this nigga Reg. I'm calling this nigga, dog. Nigga answer the phone. <sighs> I started my car up like, and my motherfucking um, radiator was fucking up, so antifreeze is flushing out. Oh, damn. So I'm like, nigga, do I wait for this nigga Reg, or do I drive the bitch home while I can make it? Yeah. I'm driving the bitch I'm home. I'm gone. <laughs> so I drive the bitch home when I get to my nigga Weez crib, nigga. That radiator, nigga, everything out that bitch, nigga. It's gone. It's a wrap. Luckily, I stay two blocks from this nigga. Yeah. So I'm like, man, I'm going to walk. Like, you want to get dropped off? I'm too mad. Like, nigga, fuck no. I'm walking, <laughs> dog. This nigga Reg, nigga, thought I left this nigga. This nigga claimed. He got tased by some police after the fight. <laughs> and say I left this nigga. I'm like, cut, my car is fucked up, bro. Right. I left it. And it, it took his sister, nigga, for us to be back cool, dog. Hey, it happened like that. When dog. if a nigga ever left you yeah. in a fucked up situation, it's hard to it's hard as hell <laughs> to forgive that nigga. Dog. Even if it was not his fault, if it was no way for him to ever help you out of the situation. Is is you I gotta stayed, find somebody to blame. I stayed there for thirty minutes waiting for this nigga. Then at the at the wall, my cuz my I gotta get to the crib, dog. Yeah. Like, Cause I ain't get no insurance. I can't get the bitch towed. Yeah, right. Nigga, it's a wrap. Nigga, I gotta drive the bitch as far as I can to the east. And, and I hope that, I don't break down. Hell yeah, I got that bitch two blocks away, nigga, to my nigga crib. Like, cuz, all right, I'm out, nigga. I'm about to walk. <laughs> I'm mad as fuck. Then nigga called me, nigga. 
Me and this nigga are so tight, like, he paid for my way at night. This nigga asked for his sweet dollars back, like, damn, this nigga mad. Oh, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga mad for real. Like, this nigga asked for his chain back and shit, cause I'm perfect, nigga. I got damn, the chain. Damn, he. I hate a nigga to give you some shit and try to take it back. <laughs> cause I got two chains on. None of them bitches mine. Nigga, two chains. Nigga. <laughs> this nigga cross, and my nigga Reds are, nigga, cause we shot Reds. Nigga, I'm yeah. that bitch, nigga. Nigga, I'm in that bitch stunt like a motherfucker with two chains on, nigga, with a white tee, nigga. Getting all the bitches and shit. <laughs> that night turned terrible. Bro. He pulled one of them. Let me get my chain back, bro. And that twenty I paid for your wedding, nigga. Like, damn. I'm like, damn, nigga, come get this fucking twenty, then, nigga. You know how you got, nigga. I don't need this bitch, nigga. Knowing you need that motherfucker. Nigga, hell yeah. Hell nigga. yeah. We just talking about losing money, nigga. My brother lost twenty dollars a day. That shit hurt. <sighs> That's why I can never be a gambler. Like, <laughs> oh, I gamble hard. That shit uh -uh. hurt. I'll be shooting I, dice, be mad as If fuck. I gamble, it gotta be some shit that I literally can control. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I gamble on some hooping shit. Yeah. On some one on one or some, yeah, we yeah. taking shots. Yeah. I know my jumper. I yeah. know my game. You feel yeah. me? And you can always size another nigga up. Like, all right, bro. I'm, he yeah. probably slow as hell. So, <laughs> I'm gonna put the hundred on this one, bro. But, <laughs> shit, as far as like the dice and shit. I'll be shooting hella dice. I, and then I'll be hitting, cause my thing is, I talk shit while I'm shooting dice. And for some reason, it made me hit. I be hitting, but this last time I remember I lost about hundred, nigga. It be so when you got only got hundred twenty dollars and you a bitch like, I'm about to need a bitch for twenty. <laughs> you feel me? I came with a hundred. That's how I feel at the strip club. Dog, I'm, I'm cheap as fuck, nigga. Like the, I went to a strip club a couple times. The most I threw was like fifteen. Man, so that bitch is real slow, like a dollar. <laughs> I'm, I'm one of them niggas that like every first... ass, every ass jiggle, nigga. <laughs> like that bitch go up, go down. I hate to be that nigga. Like you, you get a hundred ones or some shit, and you counting them out. Like, don't throw ten at a time, nigga. Hell yeah. Trying to make them bitches last per song. Nigga, we was at Denver, nigga. These niggas was getting motherfucking lap dances, special treatment. I'm that bitch. Like, I ain't gonna touch the ass, nigga, because you ain't about to charge me shit. I'm right. Gonna I'm gonna look. My dad, she got fat ass. On some real shit though, like <laughs> the strippers shouldn't even expect that much. The nigga that really should get the bread out the whole club is the DJ. Yeah. Cause the DJ is the nigga that makes you throw that the money. Up. Hell yeah. No, it ain't even that he turn it up. He the nigga talking shit to you in your ear. <laughs> Make you throw that bitch. Like nigga, these niggas just standing around. <laughs> Give my stripper some love. That nigga over in a black hat. Like, damn, nigga, I gotta throw hey, something. Hey, you got the black, damn, cuz nigga told me. That nigga told me everybody, everybody got a fucking black hat on. No, you that bitch nigga get stupid, nigga. You, you done threw your you whole ain't. rent. You done went to I'm the ATM saying, and everything. Nigga threw rent money in, bitch, for nothing. Old, old girl whisper in your ear, like, I love you. Right. You 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 falling for shit. She ain't saying shit to everybody. Every nigga. Breast man, like, straight, like, she ain't suck dick yesterday. Like, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, shit, yeah. man. But shit, man, it was smooth having you on this bitch, dog. For sure, I told you, I'm coming back with every project man, bro hell yeah for sure man you welcome dog shit you talk about whatever nigga like come hell on yeah, I'm shit, down. get the people your uh your social media your facebook where you can find your music whatever all right shit just follow me on the ground you can get to my music from you already know the link in the bio but shit it's that's buddy and i'm country so we spell it d-a-t-s underscore buddy yeah. and shit and the last project was called deontay six yeah. six tape ep i mean six song ep okay. and shit even the reason why i called it that is i'm about to ask you why you call it deontay that, that's my middle name Okay. And like like I said, I recorded I recorded all of this shit myself. Okay. So it's really me in my rawest form. Yeah. And any nigga that know your middle name know you like know you for real. <laughs> Hell yeah, you know for what real, I'm saying? So, they be scared of that shit. Yeah, and that shit really came from like I said, I'm big on vibes and yeah. I just be letting like even with my project, I let my um the shit I feel guide me. Okay. And like recently I just been hearing my fucking name everywhere because yeah. of Deontay Wilder got his ass beat. <laughs> Sorry, but it's the truth. That nigga did get beat down. So then that whole weekend, I'm just hearing Deontay, Deontay, Deontay. So I'm like, damn, this shit must mean something. And yeah. Again, I, I be holding on to so much music. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, I was going to re-record the songs because, like I said, I ain't no fucking engineer. Yeah, yeah. But I just been recording my shit myself and yeah. structuring it. So when I go so to the studio. Crib and shit, everything set up. Yeah, I just basically, I got a laptop. I move around with that motherfucker. Yeah. I, give me a mic. I'm going in forever how long I got. Okay. Yeah, so when I recorded that shit, I was looking for a name, yeah. and like I said, anybody that really know me, mm. like, up here, they would call me buddy if they really know me, and yeah. that's another thing, like, and I, I gotta say this publicly so niggas would know, yeah. I'm not about to let nobody take me from my family, you feel me? Yeah. Like, I got kids, you know what I'm saying, like, sure. so... I be on guard at all time. Hell yeah, gotta be. So like, if say I seen you out and about, yeah. and you call me Roderick, yeah. I'm probably gonna get the head nod and just keep it pushing, cause that's my that's my <laughs> government name, that's my first name. Yeah. So if you know me as that nigga, you probably know me from school, work, or some shit professionally or something. Yeah. So if you call me by that, nigga, we only have some type of professional relationship, nigga. Yeah. I right, bet I'm gone. Hell yeah. If you call me buddy, 
then you must know something or you know what I'm saying you just see me on the gram or something yeah, yeah, yeah. and even then I'm still kind of on guard yeah but sure. for when somebody called me Deontay nigga you done been to my house <laughs> Man, you didn't you, you know my mama probably Hell, you know yeah, what I'm saying sure. Hell, cause yeah. don't nobody call me that shit yeah. and, except for like you know when you be fucking with them girls they be trying to act like they know you so Hell, personally yeah. Hell, yeah, for sure. yeah. Deontay yeah. I know that nigga yeah I know that yeah. you know they or a girl will call you buddy like oh you talking about Deontay like yeah. bitch you don't know me like that <laughs> Chill out. I ain't got, the niggas didn't believe that. I, when I'm like, I don't have a middle name. Like, my mom don't have a middle name. She ain't give me a middle name. Oh, shit, you lucky. Like, my shit is straight Rashad, nigga. Like, that's it last night, nigga. Yeah. Like, but shit, I always encourage people, though, to like, shit, even if you just do it on Google, yeah. look into what your name means. Because yeah. you ain't even get to, you got to really think about that shit. That's some deep shit. Yeah, yeah. You ain't even get to pick your name. Somebody yeah. else picked your name yeah, and yeah. it stuck to you. Because my shit will be Michael, nigga. My shit got changed right before I was born, nigga. <laughs> I don't know if niggas know that shit, nigga. But I, uh, yeah, nigga, my motherfucking, um, my dad changed my shit. My shit probably be Michael. They don't like, what the fuck? Nigga, everybody named Michael. Right. So, nigga, they, that's when they, they changed that shit, like, like not too long before, nigga, to Rashad, nigga. Like, yeah. And, and like I said, when I started having kids, that was what made me really look at the shit. Like, you named your son Junior? Well, my first son is not a junior. My okay. second son, he got my dad whole name, which is my name. You know what I'm saying? My yeah. dad, me and my dad got different middle names, but yeah, that's because my dad didn't feel comfortable with his middle name. Which I gave it to my son because I fucked with it. Okay, and I fuck with my dad. Yeah, so it always go back to like I said, legacy. Yeah, now I know your last name, though. I ain't gonna say it on, on Eric. I see on your Instagram. Yeah, your dad or nobody in your family was a gym teacher, was it? Was a what? Bustle, gym teacher. Shit, not that I know of. Cause that that last name, nigga, I remember this gym <clears throat> teacher, nigga. That nigga uh smacked me in the back of my head. <laughs> <laughs> so you gonna whoop his ass. <laughs> That's your uncle, bro. I'm gonna beat his ass. No, man, I, not not that I know of. But no, like I, I said, was, every everywhere I go. Like I said, I'm not from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I be meeting people now and they find out my last name, yeah. they always be like, bro, you got somebody that nigga no. probably, it, it ain't no common last no, name. I remember this nigga smacked me in the back of my head with his last name, dog. He my gym teacher. I'm like, God damn. Nigga, bro. shit, you got Facebook. Look that nigga up. So I told, I told my mom, and John, then my mom went up there and had, had uh, cussed him out. Like, don't you ever smack my son in the back of the head. <laughs> and bust a motherfucker elementary middle school, dog. Nigga yeah, last yeah. name. I'm like. I'm like, damn, I asked the niggas, is, 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 was it on? I way? wish I knew, because <laughs> if it was any of my family, they'd be down, like, oh, you want to still square up? <laughs> <laughs> like, Dude, that nigga smacked the shit out back my head. I was like, fucking, what, fifth, fourth grade, dog? Yeah, them niggas, that's foul. It's funny as hell. Any gym teacher out there, bro, you teaching my kids, just know I'm down with the shit. Nigga, I remember my mama had to choke up a motherfucking lunch egg for smacking the back of my head, bro. Because the reason, the reason why I get so offended by smacking the back of the head, my dad used to do that shit. Like, when my dad get mad at you, dog, he'd smack the fuck out the back of your yeah. head, dog. My dad did two trifling shit, things that, nigga, you can't, I'm, I'll fight you for it, dog. If you smack me back of my head, and my dad used to chew, chew on a pen. So mm -hmm. when he be uh, chilling, he be watching TV, he chewing on a pen. Some nigga, he'd take a pen, nigga. If I do something stupid, flip that motherfucker spit on Oh, me. hell no. Nigga. <laughs> you might as well just spit on me, nigga. What the fuck? So my dad, I don't know why the fuck he did that. God rest his soul, but dog. If I did something bro, stupid. He, your dad was from Detroit, right? Yeah. Detroit dude got this thing, bro. <laughs> I'm your daddy, you ain't mine type shit. Yeah, like, and I, I ain't going to lie, I ain't never heard it nowhere else. But dog, here, dog. they think they can do whatever they want to you because they your daddy, nigga. And like. that's what my mama, like, dog. My mama and dad broke up, nigga, was because I finally stood up to my dad, dog. Yeah. He did some wild shit. He was mad about work, nigga. I'm doing my homework. He mad that I'm doing my homework at this time. Like, nigga, <laughs> what you mean you doing your homework at 7 o'clock? Nigga, he, he nigga, tossed me in the room, nigga. So I'm like 11, 12. I feel like I got nuts now, nigga. So I come in there, bitch, and found him. Oh, hell no. I him, but I, I don't hit him in the chest or the face, nigga. I hit him in his stuff. Yeah. Nigga, in his oh, dick, shit. nigga. Oh, <laughs> shit. So, nigga, my mama came, nigga, like, my dad, nigga, whooping my ass, nigga. What she supposed to? If I was my son, would hit me, Man, fucking, what? Nigga, so then, um, my mom knew, like, nigga, they was all on the verge, nigga, like, nigga, it's time, like, nigga, my son finally stood up to his dad, like, it's time for us to go, dog. Yeah. Like, and that was it, nigga, shit. Yeah, I would never try that shit with my pops. <laughs> <laughs> the closest, the closest thing I ever did, bro, and this was when we, we was so young that we was still watching wrestling and thought the shit was real. Man. So like one time nigga My dad used to have this thing Where we would wrestle on yeah. Saturday mornings Every morning Like that nigga be waking you up Throwing pennies at your ass A peg in your ass <laughs> So like, that shit have turned into A wrestling match Duh. Hold on nigga Before we leave this bitch dog I was a wrestling fan for real <laughs> Nigga top three wrestlers nigga. I'm gonna give you mine real quick nigga my favorite wrestler of all time is Shawn Michaels, nigga. Mm, okay. That motherfucker, Sweet Chin Music. I gave my, my brother Malcolm a couple of motherfuckers. Oh, super hell kids, no. Nigga. I super kid that nigga. He pulled my motherfucking ponytail out, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I had a nigga whole grill bleed, nigga. That nigga pulled my shot while I counted to three, nigga. One, 
two, nigga, yank my shit on three, nigga. <laughs> so, nigga, Shawn Michaels was my favorite ever, nigga. That nigga was in the motherfucking, uh, what's that, the Rockers, nigga? Like, yeah. I go back, nigga, DS, nigga. All the way back. Heartbreak Kid, so Shawn Michaels is my favorite. Then Stone Cold. Stone Cold, st I mean, we stirring niggas in the, the Man, school. what? Now, I, I got stirring, my pistol went through my face, nigga. Oh, shit. So, nigga, Stone Cold, Steve Austin, Shawn Michaels, nigga, then Hulk Hogan. Even though when you get, go back, nigga, Hulk Hogan had the wackest move. Terrible. The big boot, nigga, the leg. I, I was pissed off when I went back and looked and didn't realize <laughs> the shit was fake. Because of the way he wrestled, the shit looked fake, nigga. No, hell That's yeah. when he got old and them punches was like this, nigga, and he swinging <laughs> them bitches. Like, and you swinging, you stomping, nigga. Huh, yeah. Huh, nigga. Yeah, that was my top three, nigga. Shawn Michaels, shit. Stone Cold. My Hulk, top Hulk, three. Is X Pac. X Pac was cold. He's no. one, two, three kid and shit. And he was actually smacking out with China. <laughs> Hell yeah. So uh, X Pac was my favorite. <laughs> then of course Stone Cold because yeah, that, that was theme music was the shit. Any person that can make you go out and like get your ass whooped because you in the kitchen <laughs> trying to goddamn take sprites and got you, know, you know what I'm saying? Like so like, I fuck with Stone Cold and then The Rock. Hell yeah, the, the rock. rock. The Rock's still relevant to this yeah, day. And then the Rock turned that whole like he made niggas be like, dog, it's more in wrestling, nigga. You can act, nigga, exactly. you can do whatever, nigga. Like his whole persona was just like, nigga, just crazy. Hell yeah. The Rock was the truth. I remember that nigga first name was like Rocky Mountain Via or some shit. Yeah, I remember he was with the Nation. Nation of Domination, nigga. Yeah. It's racist as fuck. Farouk. <laughs> like they had to break. Imagine that shit in this day and age, nigga. <laughs> nigga Farouk, uh, oh, man Johnson. What's remember, that one nigga? D-Lo Brown. D-Lo Brown, come out here dancing, nigga. Like <laughs> this nigga know about that shit, bro. Like we are the nation. Yeah, the domination. nigga that I hated though, probably the. The three worst wrestlers, nigga. One of them is Val Venus. Oh yeah, I'm a nigga. Like, nigga come out with a towel on and, and shit. shit. Yeah, yeah, that shit was stupid. I my 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 worst though. I used to hate Macho Man. Yeah, Macho Man. God rest his soul. Nigga be slobbing and shit. Why you talking? <laughs> Jake the Snake. I hate that nigga. Though. Nigga, I hated Rakishi. Oh yeah, Rakishi. That was the gayest shit ever. That nigga put his ass on your motherfucking face and shit, yeah, bro. Like, <laughs> and Undertaker. That nigga went from being scary to just a bitch. Like, nigga, I like when Undertaker got on the motorcycle, nigga. That shit was. I like that nigga was scary, dog. Paul Bear with the motherfucking iron, nigga. Like, nah, that shit was too scary for me. <laughs> <laughs> like niggas be thinking I be playing, bro. Like, even as a kid, like if some shit seemed off, like yeah. far as energy wise, I could not fuck with it. Like, I respect Eminem rapping, all that shit. Yeah. But when I was younger, I could not listen to it. The nigga had chainsaws in the background of his uh, music. Uh, the nigga was talking about putting his mama in the trunk and his killing his baby mama, and she's screaming on the track. Hell yeah. Like nigga, I love my mama. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> Going on with this shit. Hell no, man. But shit, man. Like I said, man, you welcome to come back anytime. Hey, I'll nigga. be back for sure. Okay, niggas, your social nigga. You got, you say you got more music coming out. Hell yeah. Like I said, shit. Expect for videos and shit to be coming real sure. soon. Oh, yeah. And then for me, nigga, I got that shot versus A by Volume 2 on that piff, man. Make sure y'all go. Hey, check that's that what we got to cook up on, though. I'm always down to collab on some music oh, yeah, shit for, for sure. sure. For sure. For sure. Hell yeah, shit. And like I said, man, it's 340. Shit, my girl tripping. So I'm going to catch y'all niggas on that side. <laughs> <laughs>